From days of long ago, created by the cosmic versions of the universe. There stands one man. One great man. A man dedicated to preserving all the good in pop culture. Loved by few, hated by many. Alone in his fortress of awesomeness, he battles fearlessly against the wolves, the evil, the unjust. To right that which is wrong, to stand for justice, to serve all mankind. He is the one, the only, the Comic Relief Crusader! Hey everyone, how's it going? We made it to the end of the week. It is time for another Freaky Friday on a Frantic Friday. So, it's the show that tries to make you laugh and giggle and maybe come across with a slight disappointment in some areas that we might not be talking about or might be talking about. I'm not exactly sure because I'm rambling right now because I'm trying to get up some articles and whatnot, but that's okay because you're here and I want to say hi to everybody that showed up. Uh, wow. Jeez. Everything is already like grumbling already. Uh, we got Lord Thoft. Hello, Lord Thoft. Nice to see you. And we got our illustrious lucky Penny. Hello, Penny. As she's loving those uh, those emojis. There we go. Hi, Penny. Nice to see you. We got everybody's favorite Spider-Man, the one and only Canadian Spider-Man that's here, who's web-slinging away as he is. And, uh, wow, we got somebody new. Tina, the naughty dragon. Arr. I'm liking that avatar. I'm not going to lie. So, hello, Tina, the naughty dragon. <laughs> And we also got Vince Womack here. Heidi ho to all you nerds and nerdites. And who also says hello on the Rumble. So, you know, hey to everybody that's on Rumble that's watching right now. And who else have we got here? We got Rank or Steve. I wonder what the thoughts on the throne will be this week. You will find out. <laughs> he says. And hello to you, Franco uh, Walker, also here as well. Hey, nice to see you, man. And um, yes, you made it to another live. I'm proud of you. <laughs> Good for you. <laughs> so nice to see you, man. And yes, and thank you. Yeah, and if you guys are new here and you happen to be watching, whether it's on the Rumbles or on the YouTubes or on the X, I don't know if I can exactly say on the Xs. Yeah, what the heck? On the X's. Yeah, then please, uh, you know, hit hit the bell and hit subscribe. I really appreciate it. And share and, and yes, and select live chat because you definitely want live chat, you know, because we try to keep things nice and fresh and all that kind of stuff for you. And, yes, ba, weep, grana, weep, nitty bong <laughs> to you. Uh, who else have we got going on here? Um, uh, man, yeah, geez, we got everybody showing up here. Dormammu, hey, Dormammu, nice to see you. What's up, docs? Um, not much, lots going on though. Uh, and we got sci fi Sith Dan. Hello there, hello to you. And uh, wow, we got geez, we got tons of people showing up already. Joe's atmosphere, what's up, dude? Nice to see you. Great that you're here, man. Um, yeah. And well, that being said, let's uh, let's let's get the party started. Let's add everyone we can to this chat here. If you're blue and you if don't know where working, to go to, why be... don't you go where fashion sits? <laughs> Appian, how's it going, dude? <laughs> Bone saw is ready. I'm doing Bone good. Bone saw, yeah. 
I'm ready for another Frantic <laughs> Friday, Freaky Friday. You're ready for another Friday, Freaky Friday. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. I'm going to be adding some, um, some more end of the show shows i'm gonna be i'm gonna be carrying on with uh with a certain with a certain story um probably in the next couple of weeks that everybody's probably been anticipatory of so oh i'm not yeah mm, yes Ooh la la. let's just say that saga continues but i don't want to say anything just yet so uh we also got uh the classic uh classic <laughs> the geeky classic left to some i almost said the classic the classic. The classic. I just like the tongue twisting. Um, mm-hmm. By the way, we I'm have a sexy trying... dragon in the room now. What? What? Yeah, apparently we do. I have to see that avatar. Man, I love dragons. And I'm glad. My obsession, uh, my obsession I'm, I'm dragons. Glad. By the way, I'm going to bend for a quick I, second. By the I, way, I, anybody ever wake up who's dealt with computers and you realize that your one of your external star drives, three terabytes, is dead, and you've lost thousands of films? That sucks. So sucks. It makes me want to rage. Just it like does. yesterday. Oh I, used to, I used to make music, and I had I had a bunch of like a hundred songs I had done, oh, and I, my my computer that had them on it broke, and I never put them anywhere else, and I was never able to oh. get them back. That's why I've no. learned, like I no. said, I grew up watching yeah. Linus Tech Tips for years, and I he always said, get a NAS drive, have a backup, and I always meaning to get one. I want to get a big SSD, fifty terabyte, but that's expensive, and I'm still waiting. And lo and behold, I luckily Art got two to learn, huh? I know, oh, I know. It's not the first time this happened, but this is the most. Wow. Three terabytes. Uh, wow. Down. We. And Pop Culture Republic, how's it going, bud? Hey, hey, it's going great. Mm-hmm. Another great day. Another great day, yes, because yeah. it's a Friday. And, yeah, and uh, one word, everyone. Backups. Yes, yes. 100%. Mm-hmm. I, luckily, my photos and my foggy brain stuff I've done for eight years is all backed up on like three different hard drives, which is good. But it's just the, I, I I had three terabytes of films. Yeah, oh, yeah. Much. Now there's there's Holy like that Lord. whole uh, three, two, one backup. Yeah, hundred yeah, percent thing. Like oh, yeah. uh, three yeah. backups, two different media, one of them off site. Y- yes, oh, yeah. yes. So I'm gonna bring one of them my parents us and stuff and on, totally on a side note by the way if anybody hasn't realized in one day on the 10th supposed to be 11th fallout was released i binged it all last night and it's the greatest thing ever oh really mm. oh is I, it i, I, I love it. it if i'm a person who loves fallout i love fallout 3 it's one of my all-time faves and new vegas okay. is brilliant and i love four yeah. i played a little bit of 76 and the older ones oh my because you gotta realize it's a it's a game that there's no specific characters you create your characters so and th- they expand on the different ones and it's just Oh my gosh! And I'm waiting for the next season now already. It's so good. So wow, so good. that's that's good to hear because I struggled to make through the first episode, thinking uh, this would probably work a whole lot better if it was a comedy. Oh <laughs> god, yeah, yeah, definitely. Oh, and we also got Wendy Trouble Warrior. Hey, Wendy. Wendy, nice to see you. Uh, I hope you're doing well. Uh, I, are you still on vacation? If you're on vacation, then I hope you're having a very fun vacation. So enjoy yeah. your vacation. Exactly. Get away yes. from all the trauma stuff that's happening right now. So you deserve it, man. Or, man, I can't believe I just said that, too. Whoa, Jeez. man. Yeah. She deserves a break today. You deserve it, whoa, man. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> whoa, man. Phew. I'm glad I saved that one. So. <laughs> and yeah, Tina, yeah, I mean, um, yeah, we, we, we totally have a whole bunch of women in the chat. You know, we're all nerds here. You know, men and women, doesn't matter. You know, oh, you I gotta find that nerd. avatar. I want that avatar. Oh my God, I think Tom's falling in love now. <laughs> so. That avatar. I, I'm obsessed with dragons. If anybody knows me, I'm obsessed with dragons. Ah, okay. Uh, yeah. Oh, just got home an hour ago. Need a nap. Oh, okay. Well, then, damn. We're gonna I'm keep you up for another two hours. No? <laughs> exactly. That's right. So. <laughs> <laughs> that's right uh the woke and the evil are one and the same yes they are so okay uh folks let's get on with the show because that's we what you're to. here for really well to. <laughs> <laughs> we have to i'm sorry <laughs> all right <laughs> if you well, either that or two hours of us uh shooting the breeze here well maybe we could do that too yeah no, okay, whatever. Anyway, we... <laughs> somebody broke the window, Grandma. <laughs> stupid <laughs> news. Okay, so what did I find in stupid news this week? Well, oh, oh yeah, exactly. Yeah, because I never tell you, you guys. Exactly. What new hell awaits? 
<laughs> exactly. Oh, there's lots of it. So, uh, because I never tell you guys what I have for Super News. That's nope. why I keep everything surprise, nice and fresh surprise, here. Surprise. So, this one here by CNN, because you know CNN is so reliable with their news. Uh, if you're white and you've posted a gif or a meme of a black person to express a strong emotion... <laughs> You may be guilty of wearing digital blackface. Shut up, shut up, shut up. That's dumb. Whoever wrote this. John. Wow. Uh, Here I am waiting for the Excedrin to kick in. It's already giving me a headache. They're trying to take memes away. And seeing this, what does she say again? It's like, ain't nobody going to top that. I love her video. She's awesome. She's hilarious. It's a news clip. Yeah. I've used that myself a few times or stuff. She is awesome. I am I'm wondering, okay, I am wondering if anybody in the chat can look up John Blake at CNN and see what this guy looks like. I am I am betting. I am, oh, oh man, and normally I'm not a betting man. I am wondering if this guy is a white guy using a, <laughs> using John a quote, Blake unquote, a CNN. black meme. <laughs> God. Oh no, he's a light. He's a uh, light. I bet person. you. I just bet you. If this is the same guy. Oh, is he? Oh well, okay. The, I'm not the, sure. I guess that. It's acceptable. It might be another journalist named John Blake. God. But I'm not sure. He's a light skin. He's light skin, so <laughs> he can get away with it. Light skin black. So. It might. It might be. Oh my god. <laughs> Stupid. Oh yeah. It's, this is the dumbest exactly, thing. Exactly. Oh my is god. Is this somebody from that American Seriously? Society Come of on. Magical People? I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like one my of them, favorite but... <laughs> one is one, Michael Jackson. The name that we dare not speak animals. for fear of getting canceled. Yeah. Oh, god. oh yeah. I guess the yeah, name a movie yeah, something bad. that white people that's can't bad. say. <laughs> yeah. Uh, people. I guess I'm guilty. Descent. I'm guilty. Yeah. I'm totally Lando guilty. Calrissian memes yeah. and I, I Samuel Jackson sense. memes. Everybody, and... yeah, yeah. Whoops. Oh man. Yeah, whoops. Uh, right. yeah. Dormammu says, uh, "I've heard this, and I asked an African American coworker who said, said, 'Yes, it's a thing, but I don't care who shares it. Memes are funny as fun.' Yeah, exactly. That, my, that Michael are. Jackson meme where he's it like eating the matter, popcorn. For God's That's sake, used so much from just your popcorn and <laughs> yeah. You know, have we gotten to a point where <laughs> if you're white, you can only post white memes?" Let's segregate everything now again. Let's, let's go backwards. Let's segregate, let's segregate every aspect of our society. Yeah. 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 How is it a bad thing for a white person to show? Don't you want us to like have, you know, relate with black characters and people like that? Like, so you don't want us, you want us to only post white people yeah, in, in the GIFs then? Yeah. What do you want? <laughs> Spawn oh, is one of my ultimate favorite comic book yeah. characters. Yeah. Oh, Penny. Yeah. Really? Oh, so he is like that. Where uh, we go? Uh, oh, uh, apparently yeah. John Blake has a white mother. Oh my gosh! So he must Gee. go to his mom. Mom, don't you dare post that. Well, You're white. Imagine that. Yeah. I guess. I guess. I guess he can do part of the time. So, <laughs> my God. Uh, uh, Tina the Naughty Dragon. I'm sorry, but digital blackface. Really, this is the reasons why uh, you want to leave my cave sometimes. Yeah, exactly. Right. Oh my you. God! Like, come on, somebody, sensitive somebody much people. Hurry up. Jeez. Yeah, somebody hurry up yeah. and make a time machine. I want to go back to the 80s when things were cool. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Man. The magical oh decade that yeah, was the geez, 80s when I, I just thought culture was, was comprised really, yeah. of everything and we all got along. Yeah. Yeah. You know what's funny? Uh, let's just see. Say, and uh, this and. Oh yeah, well, go no, ahead. I was just gonna say they always say you, nowadays you have to see color. Back in the eighties, we said we don't see color; we just see people. We should need to go back to that belief. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Mm. And hail Chrissy, nice to see you here again. How's it going? And yes, you're among smiling friends. And Anomas, who's also here, do we need to segregate normal versus crazies? Yes, I think at this point we pretty much do. Yeah, put them all on an island and let the normals uh, would be outnumbered as hell. <laughs> oh, right, yeah. yeah exactly yeah no no it's good <laughs> so let me get my pantone wheel so i can figure out what qualifies as a shareable meme yeah exactly <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> you have to make go through screenings and like 
Yes. This meme is so, inappropriate for your your race. Oh your, my god. Ethnicity. You cannot post I meme. Have, I have to go through in a committee or something like that, you know. Yeah. Oh my god. Uh let's see. And uh this next for stupid news. Um, you know, seeing seeing how the Uber rich one is to, you know say not drink coffee you know that was one remember that one uh you know not eat meat because uh, apparently eating meat is uh you know has links to white supremacy and stuff like that uh this from the daily mail yeah oh yeah that's right and peanut butter and jelly and white milk is uh, also tied to white supremacy this from the uh, daily mail i ate cricket mince meat and it was delicious here's why we should all be eating insects Oh, there it no. starts. I, I guarantee that's a no. government advertised. They're pushing that <laughs> Just, agenda worldwide no. right now. Like Stop trying to make us eat bugs. It's oh, not gonna happen. Oh God, I'm so sick and tired of this. Yeah, no, they're really not. pushing this bug eating agenda. The amount of protein that you get from bugs, you yeah, you have to eat like I'm talking about, like probably like a truckload of bugs to get the same amount of protein from like red meat or something Dude, like you that. know what i'm cooking for supper yeah. after the show i got a Plus, big even if you round it up or anything like that you know you... well no i'm just what? saying i got a barbecue uh ribs i'm cooking after the show what are you cooking barbecue ribs damn mm, nice uh, now there's there's, there's apparently oh, yeah. last i read some time yeah, ago yeah. there were some there enzymes we but i mean there... and there are some enzymes and some insects that the human yes. body just cannot break down no, exactly. Yeah. Or there it was like no crickets, you can't. grasshoppers, no, it's whatever. You know, the human that, body was and, not and that's designed. Pretty much the other thing that I was going to say, you yeah. know, the po- no, exactly. You're right. So yeah, exactly, cycle man. Hey, uh, so uh, yeah, tell me your vegan. Uh, yeah, so we should all switch to uh, Timon and Pumbaa diet. Yeah, Akuna Matata. No, we shouldn't. Yeah. No. I don't feel like it. The uh, only time, yeah, the only tell time me you're vegan I'll without telling me you're vegan. The only time I'll eat insects is if I'm stuck in a man versus wild situation where I'm out in the wilderness yeah. and I yeah. have nothing else to eat. Then maybe, and just maybe, just enough yeah, to live. Yes, yes. I can I a survivor. Yeah. Notice how these animal lovers hate bugs <laughs> for some reason. Aren't they animals too? Aren't they creatures on the planet? Don't why don't they feel bad for insects? Like they don't. Oh yeah. yeah. What? 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 The hell? Yeah, why isn't why isn't PETA me. protesting that? I don't get that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't either. <laughs> I only like the fluffy animals. <laughs> so, mm, rabbit meat's good. Mm, yum. Yeah, that's true. It is. It's very good. Um, yeah, so no, I don't feel like eating bugs. I don't want to get, you know, some sort of infection of some sort of parasite or whatever. Like, no. Nope. I'll enjoy my broiled cow any day. Hell yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. That's right. What was it mm-hmm. that Dennis Larry said? You know, just uh, I'll carve off what I want and ride the rest home. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's how it works Beef. with this guy. That's right. Mm-hmm. Beef. Beef. It's what's for dinner. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Uh, or most cases, uh, depending on where you are in America or Canada, bison, the beefier beef. So mm-hmm. there we Never go. Oh, dude, you gotta have bison. Ooh. It is it is so good. It's, yeah, it's yeah, supposed to be uh, leaner and lower in cholesterol and all that stuff for people who are concerned about that sort of thing. It's true. Yeah, it is so good on so many levels. Yeah, uh, Padawanabe. Yeah, insects do way more for the planet than cows. So let's get rid of them and screw the planet up more. Yay! Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah, that's right. I mean, you know, hey, if we can, <laughs> if we can if we can save the bees, well, then you know, isn't <laughs> I shouldn't put it like this, but there's no other way to put it. Isn't the total genocide of of certain kinds of bugs to feed our insatiable appetite just you know another type of genocide? <laughs> exactly. Uh, yeah, meat is good. Uh, veggies bad. Cave woman grunt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, meat good, veggie bad. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> so, well, um, let's see. I'm starting to. Hey, sci-fi mommy, nice to see you here. Awesome. 
Great. I love you. Um, let's see. I'm starting to wonder which one I should pick first. Uh, we got two news articles. You know what? I'm going to leave it up to the chat and you guys here on the panel. Um, it's either going to be about Red Sonia or Captain America 4. Go for Red Sonia should... first. I would go for Red Sonia first. Captain Red Sonia? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. You uh, say unless, Red unless you want to get the bad out of the way and save the good for later. Right. <laughs> is that which one is going to be? Well, but which that's, one that's is going to be good up. and bad? Yeah, well, that's a toss-up. I was thinking <laughs> Captain America bad, uh, Red Sonia good, but I don't okay. know. Okay, okay. That's, that's okay, just so, me. I don't know so, about you guys. So two for <laughs> You're under the Sonya. assumption the Red Sonia news is good. Oh, that's okay. true. That's true. It could be <laughs> bad as well. Ah, yeah, this could but be could... doubly bad. This could yeah. be like both barrels bad news. That's honest, right, because remember a couple of weeks ago, it was about averting bad. the male gaze, remember? Right. Okay. Right. But none of the Captain American films are actually bad. That's one thing I can say. None of the Captain American films, at least with what's my caught on it, they're good. I like them all. Right. Uh, but where everything's well, down. We also don't have Captain America. We have Captain Falcon. Yes, exactly. Uh, true, true, true. Yeah, yeah. Appion, what you do you think? You gotta do better, Senator. Yeah. <laughs> um, Maybe he uh... gets Bucky the shield finally. Bucky gets a shield finally. That would oh, be good. Yeah, I yeah. kind of agree with Pop. Let's kind of just get this Captain America thing going. Yeah, first. okay. Yeah, I'm going to go with that, too. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah. okay, okay, okay. Uh, let's see. We got Sci-Fi Bobby. Uh, yeah, Red Sonja first. Oh, no, okay. we've already... Oh, uh, okay, 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 okay. Here comes, wait, here wait, comes wait, a wait. landslide. Uh, let's see. Vince Womack, yeah, please don't uh, please don't make a period joke. No period joke. <laughs> period. <laughs> Wendy's like, yeah, these days they're both potentially bad. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oh God, uh, Franco! Yeah, not on purpose. Uh, let's see, uh, Tina the Dragon, Red Sonia. As long as she keeps that sword away from me. Okay, so we got Red Sonia. We got Red Sonia. Uh, let's see. Uh, haven't seen Civil War. Let's see, Padawan to be. Um, also oh, I love says, Civil War. Uh, the only thing I expect is that I can count on the consistency is people being stupid. Yeah. So let's see. Uh, Captain Flappy, more like it. Uh, so okay. So I'm gonna count that as a vote for Captain Flappy. Um, okay, I want to see that movie now. Captain Flappy. Captain Flappy. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. So it seems like more people are saying probably uh, Red Sonia. Okay. So we'll <laughs> go with Red Sonia. Okay. Good enough. I like I kind of like it that way, you know, leaving it up to leaving it up to the people. Okay, so uh this is from the friend of Paul's apparently uh Red Sonia LLC threatens legal action against Antarctic press over parody character Blue Sonia. Oh no. Oh yes. It's probably gonna be better than theirs. Yeah, it's probably yeah. gonna be better than theirs. Okay. I so dare you make so, something cooler than us. Exactly. So oh, yeah, Antarctic there's the problem. Two yeah, problems right it. there. I see what they're going to be mad about. Yep. Yep. <laughs> so, Antarctic Press generally has released like, you know, parody issues and stuff like that, which turned out to be actually quite fun, right? They kind of did one uh, a few years ago of, uh, of Transformers, and uh, that was kind of fun. I don't think anybody probably uh, knew about that, but, uh, you know, Antarctic Press likes to have a lot of fun. And this one they're doing of uh, of red Sonia, basically a blue Sonia. Okay, <laughs> so yes, and as you can see, there is probably a reason why. <laughs> so, right now, I wish I had a marker on the screen because I'd circle two things I'd see that some people had. one lightsaber, two those can't those things right in front of her. Those <laughs> huge circles. They're amazing, huge circles. I can't imagine that being a problem. Um. Yeah, so it could be that. It could be that. So, uh, yeah. And so Ben Dunn over at Antarctic Press that, uh, you know, if anybody knows Ben Dunn, you know, ages ago, he came out with uh, Ninja High School. And it's it's a fun mm. read. So if you've ever read Ninja High School, you know what kind of fun that, uh, that they do over at Antarctic Press. Uh, so Ben Dunn of Antarctic Press has been known for his parody creations throughout um, the comic company throughout the years with classic hits like Steam Wars. That was actually funny. And Not Zilla, <laughs> which 
<laughs> as you can pretty much guess what that's a parody of. But it came to no surprise for fans of the indie work that Ben Dunn was doing a Red Sonia parody book called Blue Sonia. Huh? Oh, the originality, which he hoped to release soon. <clears throat> However, Red Sonia uh, <laughs> took notice of the parody and threatened Antarctic Press, claiming trademark violations of the work. It's a only, parody. Only of the name, though, because if they're going to change how Red Sonia looks and acts, their character's not going to look anything like theirs, so... Exactly! The only, the only thing you have is the name, then. Yeah! So you what can't are you sue for do? a name, so, you know. No, you can't sue for a name. So what are you going to do? Sue everybody that has the name Sonia out there? Like, yeah. really? Your character kind of looks <laughs> yeah. like the way our character used to look when other yes. people could handle it. Exactly. We don't like that. Oh my god, like they must be screaming right now. Like, I ah, you can't do that. You're gonna you're gonna damage the potential movie that we might have coming out yeah. that is going to be, you know, averting the male gaze. You know, they 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 gotta be screaming out loud right now. Why do, why does it remind me of like the two um the dueling snow whites where you have Disney yes. Snow White and then like Brett Cooper and like the Daily Wire Snow White, where you it's not really better, by the way. Yeah, it's <laughs> yeah. just like, oh, you're gonna do it. We're gonna do it better than you. And yeah, it's, yeah. Like, it's kind of the vibe I'm getting. Is like, oh yeah, you're you're ruining Red Sonia. Well, we'll call her Blue Sonia then, and make her look yeah, how people the fans right. want. Yeah. Oh my God. Remember, I'll have to challenge uh, you to a anybody remember <laughs> Parody Press from the early '90s? <laughs> yes! yes. Yes, Tina. I'm all for that. Oh my God. <laughs> I do. I so remember that. Thank you for they're, they're putting yeah. out parody issues of everything from Marvel to Valiant. Yep. Oh yeah. Yeah. They totally are. One hundred percent. Yeah. Franco Walker. Yeah. They're suing out of jealousy. Exactly. Exactly. One hundred percent. Yep. I'm with you. That's yep. what I think it is. Uh, Rocco. Yeah. Uh, I was just. I was just sued by Rocco's modern life. <laughs> 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 really were you really so oh my god um yeah Dormo, yeah Dormo couldn't help it uh my eyes just gravitated to, to the cleavage yeah Jeez. yeah they were like I tractor know, beams yeah. that's <laughs> right <laughs> Dormammu, the j and sonia is for the cup size also prove me they haven't drawn red sonia as buxom as possible yeah precisely right you know uh, let's see, Vince Mark. I think Brett Cooper is too dark to play Snow White, but technically, I don't know. <laughs> Darker than uh, the the other girl, uh, what's her name? Rachel Zegler. Oh, yeah, yeah she, much, she got much more tan than uh, Brett. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That you know, Brett's really? actually pretty white. I, I follow her YouTube channel, I'm a fan of hers, and she's actually pretty, her hair is dark, but her skin very, very fair. Hmm, Zegler. No, no, the other one, Brett Cooper. I oh, the other her. one. Yeah. I'm a fan of hers. I like her stuff on YouTube. She's oh, okay. Really so. Oh, okay. I, I, I was kind of confused there for a second. It's like, <laughs> really? You follow Rachel Ziegler? It's like, you know. I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I just yeah. I just don't know anymore. I don't I know. know you anymore. No, no Brett Cooper's um, awesome. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, totally, totally. Uh, so Blue Sonia was clearly meant as a parody of Red Sonia. No, really? Uh, uh, using uh, cheeky drawings in bikini armor with a blue-haired maiden with a sword to market the upcoming work. However, Red Sonia LLC apparently thought this parody was too close to the original for trademark purposes, and a letter to Antarctic Press stated, here's the letter, it has recently come to our attention that each of you and your company, Antarctic Press, here, here and after collectively, you have and or further intended for your own respective commercial purposes without authorization or permission from RSL to manufacture, market, advertise, promote, display, distribute, publish, and offer for sale an unauthorized and infringing Blue Sonia comic book series and or graphic novel featuring your character, the infringing character, 
character, which is based on and strikingly similar to the established Red Sonia character, see Exhibit A for examples, please be advised that by engaging in such conduct, you and uh, are and would be violating a, the copyright trademark laws of the United States and infringing upon the valuable rights of of S R S L. Like you wow. can't, yeah. I, I was lost like part way into that. I was like, you you read that and your eyes start to glaze over. Like, what's going on here? It's just a parody, guys. Yes. Exactly. Come on. Exactly. It's, there's nothing wrong with poking fun at something. It's a parody. That's the whole point. I oh, just know people will like it more than theirs. If yeah. more eyes to your product, I'd be like, okay, that's, yeah. That's right. Yeah, yeah. if they're going to go this far, they might as well put Lady Death in a trench coat. Yeah, they might as well at that point. Oh, I yeah. love Lady Death. She's uh, awesome. Yeah, Lady Death outfit uh, is actually her white skin. The bikini is just plot armor. Yeah, that's true. It is really. Yeah. And their so. their legal team is bigger than their creative team. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. Yeah, like <laughs> <laughs> we don't want to use this red zone design, and no one else in the world's allowed to use it either. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Like, come on, how many people Man. like in the history of costuming? <laughs> Has like done similar things. Like God, give me a break! It's just so stupid. Goodness, that make me kind of sad in pants. Yes, it does. It, it <laughs> does. It's it's so dumb. It's so dumb. Yeah. Okay. Fine. There might be some similarities, but it's a parody, guys. Like, have fun it's with good. it. Yeah. At least it's attracting it to your brand. If anything, generally parodies will do that, right? If you're spoofing something, it's like, oh, okay, they're making fun of this character. I'll check that character out or something, you know? Mm -hmm. I mean, I mean, Marvel has done it to their own characters, you know, and yeah, sure, they can do that with their own characters and stuff like that. That's okay. Image has done it. I mean, my God. Um, I think I think I think tick, even the tick. Okay, has made so many spoof characters, parody yeah. characters of tons of like DC and Marvel characters. It's unbelievable. Well, so, and even think about a show like um the the Venture Brothers. They were yeah. literally had like parodies of the Fantastic Four in there. They were yeah. yeah, they were like making fun of all these different superheroes and villains and things. And yeah, they slightly changed the name a bit, but everybody who knew those characters knew who they were. You know who they were supposed to be. Well, oh, exactly. Yeah, it was yeah. done in good yeah. fun, though. It was done in good fun, and it's like nobody really cared. Yeah, and it was a yeah. pretty fun series as well. It kept you going. Oh, big time. That I mean, theme song know, alone was great. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Exactly. I mean, look at, look at uh, like I said before, like in the tick, Deflator Mouse, okay? Clearly, obviously, that's a parody of, like, Batman, okay? Yeah. And uh, what what was that other one in the tick um, that was uh, with the with the guns and stuff like that? You know that basically you know had like you know a short circuit in his head kind of thing. You know like he was mm -hmm. he was teetering on insanity basically. It's the one with the guns. I'm trying to remember his name, but you know, but basically it's a parody of like the Punisher. Yeah. Um. You know, and then they had what was it? Mermaid Boy, Lost Son of Atlantis. Which you know is supposed to be making fun of uh, you know either Namor or Aquaman or something like that. You know, okay. it's yeah, yeah, exactly. About, like, you know? The boys also. You had the Deep, yes. who is Aquaman, Homelander, Superman, Queen Maeve is Wonder Woman. Yes, uh, you know what I mean. Like they're literally just different named characters and different personalities, but they're literally those characters just switched a bit. Exactly. Yeah. And hey, Dad Man, nice to see you. Hey, CRC, done with my checkup, heading home. Have a great stream. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Uh, Lords off. Yeah, Venture Brothers was making fun of Johnny Quest. It was. It totally 100% was, you know? Um, yeah, I mean, uh, well, yeah, let's let's look at every Superman parody, for example, okay? Oh, you got Omni-Man. 
You got Omni Man mm -hmm. from uh, Invincible. Yeah, you got uh, Brightburn from the Br uh, for Brightburn. You got mm. uh, you got Sentry that's in Marvel. You got uh, Supreme that's over at Image Extreme Studios. You know Rob Liefeld's kind of creation. Everybody yeah. has a parody of Superman. You know. So I'm going back, I, sorry, I, I don't want to say. Did you hear? Uh, I guess Gunn stopped the making of Brightburn too. They were going to make it, and he's going to he stopped it. So oh, they're mad. Wow. About, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. They're mad about that parody too, which I love. The first yeah. Brightburn. I'm like, what if? Uh, what if Superman was yeah. evil? Like, yeah. I would have <laughs> liked to have seen a second Brightburn. Oh, they that have was to kind of interesting. Him. No, but I guess yeah. Gunn stopped it. It's like, shit, you. I hate him now even more. <laughs> <laughs> Kathleen uh. Kennedy didn't understand why there were no Cylons on the set of Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds that really uh. sounds like something she would say or do. Yeah. Like, Where are the Cylons? Exactly. Exactly. Kathleen, that's that's Battlestar Galactica. Oh, oh. Yeah, they're there, yeah, they're yeah. just in human oh. form. It's all right. right. <laughs> and yes, Franco Walker, yeah, greatest American hero. That counts. I used too. to love yep. that show. Yep. That was I, awesome. I, I was know, right? Night. Yep. Oh. Uh, does Meteor Man count? Oh. We were, yeah. We were, Meteor Man. Have that. we were talking about it earlier. Uh, comic. Uh, we were um, All Might from uh, All Might, yes. my hero. From He's Superman. Yeah. Yeah. Basically. yeah, exactly. Right. Um, One uh, Punch Man, Saitama. One Punch yeah. Man is Superman. Yep. Basically. Huh. Basically. Goku. From uh, Goku. Ball there you go. Goku is yep. Superman. Or just about all the from, uh, from Mega Mind. Exactly, exactly. Everybody has like some sort of superhero uh parody of some sort, yeah. right? It's it's mm -hmm. just how they write it that ends up making them famous somehow, or you know, for some way. And this is no different. You know, you're just basically taking a name, you're making a little parody of it, uh, you know, that might poke fun at the original, and that's okay, you know, because humor is in short supply, and these guys are basically like you know, crying foul. It's, oh, it's, Mamu. yeah captain amazing yeah. from mystery man how did i forget him yeah he's yeah, an asshole yeah. superman <laughs> exactly yes 100 <laughs> captain of, oh god i love that movie that was such an awesome I when know he pushes the kid out of the way that wants his autograph captain yes. amazing he, he just slams him out of the way ah! <laughs> and, <he's just> going <laughs> flying. and it's such an underrated movie i love it it's one of my guilty pleasures i know a lot of people don't like it but i love that movie it's so funny oh, that was awesome. um, wears glasses Captain Amazing yeah. doesn't wear glasses. He takes them off when he transforms. They're like having yeah. this conversation. <laughs> <laughs> and that's right. Yep. Banana Man, which is a British kids cartoon. Exactly. You know, and so it's they're just they're just basically crying because they're probably afraid that this is gonna be actually more popular that they do something like that too. Like, avert the male gaze. You yeah, know? They... That's... <laughs> that's them. Oh, that's they're their... there. Because this one's going to be sexy and nice and that, and theirs are going to be all woke and no, we got to avert the male. Like, they're, they're probably angry, like, no, stop that. Like, no. Man. It's just stupid stupidity beyond stupidity and it's just jealousy but i'd be like i'd be all for it you're getting notification people are now gonna look at no probably red sonya now more because you're putting eyes on it it's like i'd be like yes please i want that yeah. to be brutally honest like it bears a resemblance to the original red sonya it has nothing to do with the one we're making now that's going to be completely no. bastardized version but exactly. it looks like the original exactly. one and we're mad <laughs> exactly <laughs> we're big mad uh and just it's a time. How's it going, man? Can't wait for Star War. Uh, Star Wars, the Icolite. It's like frozen in space, but gives men everyone uh, the ick. Yeah, exactly. Hopefully, there's a topical cream for that. <laughs> so, oh my god. So, topical cream that warms. No, wait. No, what? Yes. <laughs> yes. Well, yeah. Yeah. I. I. By the so, um, so, uh, the infringement. Bad. Yeah. So oh, sorry, bad man. Roboting, Very yeah. bad right now. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, man. Um, it's all good. How do I sound See, Attack okay. of the interwebs. Yes. Ah, that's true. Just want to yeah, be able to hear what you're saying, but it's like cutting you off. Yeah. Oh, bummer. So Damn you, uh, apparently they, they they go in to say the infringement is so apparent and evidently. 
deliberate that no detailed analysis is required. You are using the Red Sonia character, changing your hair from red to blue and titling her Blue Sonia to confuse the market with... with the, to confuse the market. With They're the, just more accurate oh, to the original character, though. I know. With the competitive comic book series and or graphic novel, by such conduct, you are and intend to further to, uh, among other matters, with and without limitation, engage in copyright infringement, unfair, competi unfair competition. Oh, give me a break. Unfair. False designation of origin and infringement, delusion of Red Sonia's trademark, and violation of of applicable federal, state, and international laws. Like, oh my God. You know, really? you know the reaching. workaround for this is easy. Just change her name from Sonia to Karen. She has yeah. blue hair. Just have her walk in, lay her sword down on the counter, and demand to speak to the manager. Yeah, yeah. Actually, but, this is a parody. I hope that's what her character is. That'd be hilarious. Like, how would they how would they even know? Like this one right here, false designation of origin. You don't even know the origin because the book isn't even out yet. How yeah. would you even intend to presume that you know the origin yeah, of what if it's Blue completely different? Zonia? Yeah, exactly, <laughs> right? It's, it's it's the same but different. Yeah, exactly. It's so dumb. Um, yeah, sorry, Vince. Yeah, no, I'm not roboting. That's my uh, Soundway parody. Exactly. Uh, I can call it now. I'll call it now. She has the blue hair, and then she'll show her boobs when she wants, but then when people look at her, stop looking at me. And she'll complain about it. Oh, yeah, so. yeah, yeah, yeah. It'll yeah. probably be, be that, yeah. Um, but, um, oh, God. Engaging in copyright infringement. Well, you change it around a little bit, and then it's not really infringement there, is it? You know, um, but an infringement delusion of Red Sonia's trademark. That's the dumbest like, I, I know, right? I, is, I don't even know where to begin with that. But they don't no, even like her I, look. Uh, they don't even like Red Sonia. Like the people making Red Sonia yeah. don't like Red Sonia. So yeah, they don't want people looking what? at her. I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You don't even like it, but they like it more. But you're mad at them for liking her original look, but you don't like yeah. her look. Her oh, origin is what? the Homono Stone. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> oh my God. I just thought, oh, really, you're really gonna do this? You can't, you can't sue parody. You can't. We just covered it. How many, how many parodies are there of several superheroes over there? You know, uh, all around, you know, throughout time of comic books and stuff like that. Come on, give me a break. Um, well, I know. So the letter... somebody brought up that was Lady Death. Now she, 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 uh, she dressed like her, but her story's dark. If anybody knows the Lady Death, I'm a fan of hers. Her story's very dark. Her origin story's very dark, and it's very. But yeah. People have com no. It's like people are going to look the same. They're going to look similar. What's wrong with that? Just get over it. It's like oh exactly. My gosh. I know it's so dumb. It is. It's just unbelievably dumb. Mm. Uh, so. Uh, yeah, so the letter went on to order Antarctic Press to cease publication of Blue Sonia, providing any accounting of sales of the product, and assure Red Sonia LLC that they will not be infringing upon the trademark in the future. Ben Dunn of Antarctic Press posted about the matter to Facebook, stating, So I got a cease and desist letter for Blue Sonia. Uh, soon after, Ben Dunn posted about the future of Antarctic Press Project, saying, Blue Sonia is dead. Oh, you cow -towed! Long live Kendra. Yes, I'm afraid that the Blue Sonia character can no longer be used by me. But fear not, she will undergo a redesign and be renamed Kendra. Sell sword. This should appease the litigation gods, I hope. I wanted to take time to thank you all for your support and for the tremendous fan art but it's time to move on and it is my hope that you will continue in your support stay tuned we will be back so yeah so a bit of a redesign that he did you know and it's and it's and it's not you know not bad but damn it i just want to see i just want to see a parody of 
<laughs> I'm friends with Sonya. I can understand you know? them why they're doing it though, because they probably don't make it quite as much money as the ones over there. So you don't really want to get in litigation. It would cost uh, just be worthless. So just make uh, this yeah. change and just yeah, it's, it's but it sucks. It really sucks. It's a load of BS. Yeah. Uh, Zelda, Zelda will sue her for using the Master Sword. And, yeah, and, yes, and, yes. Yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, Kendra, what did she will the Stanley Cup? Yeah, she probably does. Maybe I don't know. So it's a little disappointing in a way because it just it's like it's like the bad guys won in a way, you know, yep. which is a shame because you know it's 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 like the it's and they get it's like the death of comedy it's like the death of just you know doing something fun for fun's sake right and now now it's attacking parody uh you know because yeah sure no we can't we can't play with the character you know switch it around a little bit and just you know have fun with it or anything like that um yeah still hot there you go yeah i mean i won't argue with that i'll give it that no, you know no ben dunn does some fun stuff so but um yeah, no, don't don't kowtow. Try to try to at least fight for it. But you know, Antarctic Press has been around for my God, I think about maybe thirty years, if not a little bit longer. You know, I don't want to see them exactly go away, but yeah. um, mm -hmm. you know, it's a little disappointing. I mean, I will admit that. So, and I was about to say the way as the long as they at least try is, to spoof the origin. Yeah, I was about to say the way yeah. the comic book industry is right now. Antarctic Press, I don't know. Could they afford litigation? I don't know. I don't about know at this point. Yeah, you don't want to take that yeah. chance. That's yeah, yeah. No, I don't think any publisher that wasn't Marvel or DC could take that chance. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> or maybe there you go, Image. Off. Yep, she's blue. Exactly. At least she's still blue. So we'll give it that much, you know. But um, yeah. But I thought it was I thought it was rather interesting, you know, that uh that this kind of stuff is going on, you know. God, just just have fun with the parody at least, you know, don't have to get all stick in the mud about it, you know. But he updated his Facebook later, posting a new character design with blue hair and a sword with very different looking armor that definitely could not be confused with Red Sonia, as it looks completely original. So Ben Dunn said introducing kendra sword maiden blue she is a sword maiden blue who has magical armor and a sword my brother suggested cyan what do you think uh and fans seem to be delighted with the announcement of kendra sill sword and wish ben done luck with creating a good story with the character so far Red Sonia has not commented further, though others have noticed that parody is protected by law anyway, and the character names could be fought to keep without repercussion. Robert E. Howard's original character is also public domain. They got Make no legal. Exactly. Adding <laughs> further muddiness to Red Sonia to so, uh, choose legal standing against any action against Antarctic Press. So, yeah, because it's free domain, they couldn't do anything if they wanted to. Hmm. So, yeah. this is why like writers are getting paid little, is because all their money is going to the legal teams. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What's more it. it's important? <laughs> there you go blue thunga yeah <laughs> it's history rock creations um yeah dormama says yeah the real question at what point should you copyright a character that you uh that you babe designed mm, good question i think that if you're pretty close to or finalized a a character designed a character design i think you should probably copyright it like immediately and the yeah, easiest yeah. thing to do is the easiest thing to do is this okay and this is kind of like uh you know ages ago what my mom told me right when it comes to copywriting a character um you know yeah you can go through the whole legal jargon of you know filling out the paperwork and all that kind of stuff the easiest thing to do okay is to put it in an envelope Put it in a self-addressed stamped envelope. Mm. And, Mail it to yourself. Uh, 
mail it yeah, to yourself. Self copyright. Registered mail. Yeah. Yeah. Registered mail. It has to be registered mail. That way, if it ever comes up in court or anything like that, they cannot open that envelope unless you give them permission to. Yeah. And always sign and date your work all the time. Sign and date it. Put the date on it. Uh, you know, if, if you've done it on a computer, make sure there's some way that um, that you can timestamp it in any way possible. That's yeah. the best thing that you can do for yourself if you're an independent creator, right? That way, nobody can take it away from you. Uh, you know, it's in a registered sealed envelope. Nobody can open it but you. Even the courts can't open it. They can ask you to open it, but they can't even open it themselves because that's addressed to you. And opening somebody else's mail is what? Defense. Illegal. Defense. Exactly. Exactly. So there. Can't do it. It's as simple as that. So, and hey, DJ Play Nice, how's it going? Nice to see you here. Um, well, I like that avatar. That's a really awesome avatar. <laughs> hmm? Playing on Da Vinci's man. Yeah. Oh, dude, that's awesome. Yep, that's right. It's a federal offense to open somebody yeah. else's mail. Even the courts can't make you do it. So, and that's that's a way to defeat it. It's as simple as that. So, but uh yeah, what do you what do you guys out there think, you know, of this of a blue Sonia parody? You know, I mean, does it make you kind of want to tell Ben Dunn, you know what? It's it's a free for all. It's public domain. They really can't do anything uh, to you. You know, is it maybe giving you guys questions to, uh, you know, hmm, should I actually maybe uh, do a parody character? You know, is it actually safe for me to? Um, yeah, I mean, we kind of talked about it here, you know. Everybody's done a parody of some character one way or another. I mean, let's look at it this way. Let's look at Deadpool, for example. Okay, you know, yeah. a lot of a lot of people think it's a uh it's a parody of um uh the one from DC, um Deathstroke, the Terminator, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. and a lot of people could probably argue that. Well, isn't Red Sonia a parody of Conan? I would think yeah. so, yeah. 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 You know, so she originally was made off of another character. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> you know, she's a barbarian. He's a barbarian. A vicious the only, cycle. Yeah, they both wield swords. You know, they both kick ass and take names. The only difference is, um, one's a woman, one's a one's a guy, one's a man. Yeah, better be careful. I'm creating a new. Uh, I'm coming up with that new idea of the three anime girls are going to be big boob, medium boob, and small boob. I better be careful because they'll look like similar ones. Oh, and maybe I'll yeah, just, yeah. You probably will. Yeah. And hey, I'll sort of poop is nice to see you here, man. Everybody's favorite polar bear. Um, yeah, so we got a naughty dragon, we got a snort of poopus, we got a polar bear. Um, I guess we're writing on uh probably killer rabbit from space on top of that as well. Then uh yeah, we'll have uh, many animals here. So Not as well. Mm -hmm. There anyway. we go. Uh yeah, Vince Womack says, uh, yeah, it may be that they hold a copyright to the design. Ah, that could be. Uh, that's what Universal has done with Frankenstein. Nobody can copy his looks without their permission. Yeah, that's true. I get that. Yeah, because uh because the universal look of Frankenstein, that is pretty unique. Yeah. So and that that reminds me of uh Solomon Grundy from Batman. Yeah. He's kind that of too. like a Frankenstein monster type character. Yeah. So hmm. how does that come into play? But then again, he doesn't have like, you know, the bolts and the yeah. like, squarish head, I guess. So I suppose they can kind of get away with that. It's just petty. Yeah. It's just petty it's just like in my opinion. It loosely is. based on it or like inspired by, you know, a little bit in the design, but it's not yeah. like a direct movie. No, exactly. And you know what? Even looking at the costume, you know, I mean, uh, you know, this picture right here, like, you know, she has shoulder pads. Okay. Well, I don't think Red Sony really has shoulder pads whatsoever. No, I don't think she and, does. No. no. And, you know, I mean, obviously the hair is different, like, you know, duh, because it's a parody. And, you know, the bra. It's like a chainmail or a scale thing or whatever it looks like. Yeah. Dragon's it looks more like a. Yeah, it looks more like a scale thing 
where where you know this is more like a bikini top where this one see like you know it's kind of like going under the shoulder here you know so it's more like a um well they want uh, red just looks it. like a string bikini that looks like a more like a sports bra yeah exactly yeah. Like, yeah. right so you know i mean it's a little bit different uh let's see you know plus plus on top of that you know the gloves are pretty much going up to her elbows where I'm sure that Red Sonia is like, you know, just wearing the like maybe small gloves or something like that. The sword's different. So it's not exactly like a perfect mirror image, so to speak. Well, you know what I think they're thinking, maybe because by the sounds of it, they're going to cover her up in the film or whatever they're doing, and they're going to have her covered. So you're not going to see cleavage probably because we can't have guys looking at her. And they're like, oh, yeah, that's, that's gonna- right. That's probably going to make people think something of, oh, look, she's sexy still. Why isn't she like that in the movie? And maybe it's like, you know, because they don't want to show women. And like, oh, you idiots. Like, there must yeah, be something I know. more to that. This is just ridiculous. It is. It is rather ridiculous. And yes, thanks to Frank and Walker. Uh, yeah, if you're new here, please, uh, you know, subscribe. I would really appreciate it. And hit the bell and the share and hit like and select live chat because Do I really appreciate it. Do it. Do it now. Or yeah, else I'll... I stick blue Sonya on you and crash her yes. with your mighty thighs or her mighty yes, please. thighs. I mean yes, please. Yes, please. Stick around yeah. me anytime. Please. Please. Yes. So, you know, there's that. And uh, it's, it's just, it's just ridiculous. Just, just take yeah. Just don't. It's just a parody. <laughs> just have fun with it. And it's supposed to, like, uphold your brand at least to draw attention to Red Sonya. Imagine if that. Weird Al got sued for all the parody songs he did. Oh, God, yeah. See? <laughs> There you go. That too, right? Yes. Like, just, yeah. Just, just, oh. Yeah. You can't put cleavage on the screen. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> but but no, exactly. Life, living in an Amish paradise. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh man. <laughs> imagine, imagine if every artist sued Weird Al. You would not have Weird Al. Just think about that for a sec. Exactly. You know? Yeah. Or like, or like, just like the parody movies too, like epic movie, scary movie, all those naked guns, all those movies that are like literally ripping off of, you know, things. I think they even some of them have like the same characters. Yeah, and it's like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. naked gun, uh, you know, which is uh, which is which is making fun of Dragnet. Yeah, Spaceballs, which is obviously making fun of Star Wars. Um, Yeah, all the scary movies. Yeah, just like you said, Appian. You know, if it wasn't for all these parody things, you know, we knew it was a parody. We knew, you know, we're not dumb for God's sake, but eh. yeah, or, or, or the Ninja Turtles. Exactly. You know, because you had parodies of those coming out, like, uh, uh, what was it? Radioactive black belt. Uh, uh, what was it? Adolescent radioactive black belt hamsters. Well, there was, I remember. My, that, that was a parody. Mars, there was Street Sharks, and yep. they were all parodies of the Turtles. Oh, man, Street Sharks yes. was great. Yeah. yeah, man. You know, you've they had have those. all those toys. <laughs> and those are memorable. Exactly, yeah. Sci-Fi Mom. But yeah, Robin Hood, Men in Tights. Yeah, yeah literally using all the literal, literal character names. Will Scarlet, Little, you know, like they didn't even change the names. <laughs> no, they didn't. You know, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Spaceballs, exactly. Um, and that that is true. Yes, Weird Al does get permission from all the songwriters. Yeah, and the yeah. cool that part is, is a lot of the musicians actually like when he he's like, oh, please, could you parody my song? A lot of the musicians yeah. want him to parody it. Yeah, it, because in the beginning he went to the artist and said, you know, hey, can I make a parody song? And they were like, okay, yeah, sure. You know, and and then after a while, I mean, when he was becoming really big, they were going to him. Yeah, you know. That's that's how popular it became, right? Uh, and and the turtles themselves started as a yep. superhero parody. Daredevil. Right. Mm. Yep, it's Same right. Ooze that blinded Daredevil made the turtles exactly. <laughs> yeah, Dracula dead and loving it exactly. There's another parody. Oh god, and that was hilarious. I love that movie. <laughs> it's so funny. Um. But yeah, you know, this is nothing to really be freaking out over Red Sonia LLC. You know, just just let them have fun with it. Stop being a bunch of douchebags. It's yeah, and it's like I'm immediately assuming that it's going to like damage the Red Sonia brand or be yeah. like ultra negative to it. I'm like, I doubt that's the plan. I think exactly. they're going to damage their own film by the sounds of it anyway. So I don't know what they're well, worried about. They're the ones. Yeah. 
Yeah, they're the ones killing themselves, basically. Yeah. It's like they have they have no idea what they're doing. I, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> they're drastically changing the character while Blue Sonia is mildly changing some aspects and people yeah. will yeah. notice that when they when they watch and compare the two products. Which one's yeah. gonna look like the the original Red Sonia more? I'm thinking Blue Sonia, and that's that's a problem for them. Well, and that's the other thing, right? Because people will always go back if they love the original so much, they'll always go back to the original, right? They'll get a parody just because it's you know poking fun, it's lighthearted humor or whatever, right? Mm -hmm. But they will always go back to the original because they enjoy the original. That's mm -hmm. that's why Superman has stood the test of time. You know, that's why all these parodies of Superman, you know, depending if it's like, uh, you know, doesn't matter if it's like Marvel or Image or, you know, any other comic book that makes a parody of Superman, a Superman parody. That's why, because because he is the quint quintessential superhero, right? He's the OG. Yep. So <laughs> he's exactly, exactly. Yeah. And that's why Superman has lasted so long. So it's ridiculous, I know. So, but anyway. Seeing how we are at the one hour mark, let's take a brief break here and uh, and have some fun with our with our new segment, Thoughts from the Throne by Rank or Steve. <laughs> Huh. It's been proven. You're a man if you're willing to put pineapple on pizzas. Because in the end of the day, no one cares. There you go. <laughs> Actually, I don't mind pineapple. It's not my favorite, but I don't hate it. It's like, yeah, whatever, you know. No, I like pineapple on pizza. I will yeah. say that. Yes, I am not. I am not beneath myself to say oh. that. I love. I, I like pineapple. I like Hawaiian pizza. I just love pizza. I just love pizza. Pizza is just pizza. <laughs> my God, this seems unsanitary. <laughs> don't forget to wash your hands. <laughs> That's right. There you go. See, I love the kazoo. See, I'm very careful when I pick up my music for, for oh, dang. Tina's like got a different uh avatar picture now. Oh my, yeah. now it looks enough. more like Morgan from Darkstalkers. That's what I was thinking. Hey, Morgan, yeah, that's what it reminds me of. Yeah, I'm sensing a theme here. <laughs> I can't, put like, my finger like. on it. So. Like. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Tina. We should be averting our male gaze. So, yes, yeah, not love. yeah. There we go. Vince Womack blast for me. So, <laughs> uh, True Rock Raisin is funny. A commercial break uh, after Act 3. Maybe. Uh, pineapple and pizza. Cancel. <laughs> I'm sorry. We're all allowed to like what we like, Snort of Poopas. Exactly. I can't it. Exactly. Like I said before, if you like it, you win. So there. Don't hate me. Um, okay. So that being said, Let's get on to the next article, shall we? Okay. Um, yeah, it's such a boring YouTube discussion trope. Yawn. <laughs> I know it's been way overdone. It's like, oh, jeez. But it's good. It's uh, good. I, I used to have a girlfriend who could blow a mean kazoo. Really? Oh, that's good to know. Hmm. I hope she has lots of work. So, uh, okay. Not touch that with a 10 foot pole. That's right. So I gave you guys a choice, so that means we have to get to uh, Captain America four. <laughs> so, <laughs> so um, apparently, Captain America four reforms the Avengers. Anthony Mackie at CinemaCon. Uh, so uh, yeah, checks out a uh, a pair of new pics as well as a video of Mackie and War. Not that really anybody is interested, because the way this writing is going and uh, constant delays and all that kind of stuff. I'd be having to look like that on my face too, wondering if I was actually going to get a half decent paycheck from all this. And, and what Avengers are they even talking about? 
there are none. <laughs> there's only the young Avengers. Yeah. And then there's yeah, exactly. Left. That's all they got. Yeah. <laughs> I'd be looking worried too. Like this, like why? Why the hell am I even in this movie anymore? <laughs> so, oh man. So Marvel, Marvel uh, shows off. The new Captain America Brave New World images and footage with mentions of the Avengers. What Avengers? There's hardly any remember Avengers the, left. Remember them? Remember the Avengers? You yeah. Remember the Avengers? Remember that? Yeah. Remember that? <laughs> you had some awesome characters that? in there. You had an actual Steve Rogers. You had an actual Iron Man, you know, and uh, and Thor with no beer gut and anything like that, you know. Remember that? That was good times. And, and Hulk was actually the Hulk. And yeah, yeah, good times. exactly. Not some simp ridden friggin' sorry friggin' Hulk. Oh my God. Um, and Anthony Mackie appears at CinemaCon. Oh my. As part of Marvel's presentation, which also includes Deadpool and Wolverine. Well, I'm sure that everybody wanted to go rather uh, Deadpool and Wolverine because <laughs> yep. the way things are going for Captain I'm a America. thousand times more excited for that. Exactly. So EW.com dropped new images of both Anthony Mackie as Sam Wilson and Harrison Ford, who plays uh, Thaddeus Thunderbolt Ross, the president of the United States oh my in the gosh. film. Oh, he's president now. Like Air Force One. Yes. Get off my plane. <laughs> I hope we get a line get like of, that. Oh, yeah. Get out of my White House. Yeah. <laughs> That's right, Franco. Yeah, Avengers the next generation. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, geez. Um, is Robert Downey Jr. really coming back for that? Um, apparently, no, from what I've heard. I hope not. That's what I've heard. He said no. he said he'd only come back if it's worth like a very amazing comeback. But otherwise, exactly. no, he's not. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And Disney didn't exactly want to pay him that much. And for that reason, he's out. So the only time I'd want to see him back is in Secret Wars in a minor role. Yeah, I'd be okay with that. You know, just throw a couple of hundred thousand his way, and I'm sure he'll be uh he'll be happy with that, you know. Like in Secret buy... Wars, they have like a bunch of Iron Man variations or whatever, and it's like people yep. are like seeing new ones, and then you hear Tony say something, you know, uh RDJ, and it's like the crowd goes crazy. I could kind of see oh, them yeah. using that, you know, kind of like yeah. a no way home situation. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. totally one hundred percent. Uh, Tina the Naughty Dragon. Uh, I love Harrison Board, but I wonder if he sold his soul to Disney. Um, yeah, yeah. well put, actually. Uh, I think so. <laughs> I think he did because, from my understanding, uh, like Mark Hamill, he sold his likeness to Disney. Uh, so that means you know, if they want to do like you know, CGI Harrison Ford and stuff like that, they will. And they, you know, they can and they will. And I'm guessing that also means his voice as well. So, oh, yeah, because they, they already did in uh, Indiana Jones. Remember, they did that the yep. flashback sequence where he was like younger. So, yeah, they've yep. already started dipping their feet into the yeah. how, how much can we milk young uh, Harrison Ford's face? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. And so, weird. so that essentially, yeah, he did sell his soul to Disney, you know, for a few extra bucks, which he can't take with him when he dies. And I mean that'll be a sad day. Don't get me wrong, but you can't take it with you. So does he have any uh, more iconic characters for them to, to decimate? I wonder. Oh, sure they, they I, they, I think they've already gone through all his most iconic. Yeah, I think so. Uh, Vince Wobach still prefer Lou Ferrigno as Hulk. Yes, or the Hulk before <laughs> Mark. Oh, Wall Edward was Edward good. Norton was wasn't bad. He was pretty good. He just uh, yeah, yeah. He, I wish he would have stuck around. Yeah, I just I hear he's kind of an asshole that. behind the scenes. Yeah, like yeah. he's like he like wants too much like input on like the creative stuff, and it's like you're a fucking actor, not a creator. Stop it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Do your job. Uh, yeah, <laughs> he only does films to pay for his planes. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I like Eric that Banner's he, Hulk, but I know he disappeared. He hasn't done much since. So no, he hasn't. I didn't mind his Hulk either. Yeah. So you know, he played it pretty good. I thought. Uh, yeah, that is if he doesn't crash those planes like he's done yeah. before. Uh, yeah, you can yeah. call it face milking exactly, yeah. DJ. Yeah, sounded weird when I said it too. I was like, that doesn't sound right. 
No, it doesn't. <laughs> but face milking, that actually sounds better. So I mean, Luke uh, Skywalker face milked. It was green, but he did it. Oh, yeah, that's true. So <laughs> yeah, he loved every food. taste of it. <laughs> exactly. Suck at that teat of Hollywood. Yes. Um <laughs> oh my god. Mm. All the jokes I could say. Anyway, anyway. Oh yeah. Oh, you. Well, you can. This is a pretty lowbrow kind of show, so you know. <laughs> so yeah, I guess this is one of the pictures. Yeah. It I don't know if I should be holding the suit. No, he doesn't. It, it, how does he throw the shield? The second he, it boomerangs back, he breaks his whole fucking arm. He doesn't. Yeah, have yeah I know. Human abilities. No, he doesn't. That's the thing, right? Because with the force that Steve threw it at. Which causes the whole shield to like you know ricochet and come back and stuff like that. You know that 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 force is like quite a lot of force. He would you know? break every and, bone in his like you said in his arms. So I was like, yeah. yeah, because Steve Rogers had like above human strength, yep. and so does that, Bucky. Hmm. Yeah, <laughs> and he uh, has like a mechanical arm yeah, for exactly. catching it. Because he caught exactly. it in Winter Soldier, he caught it perfectly with the arm. So it's like even that he has another way to catch it that makes yeah. sense in the universe. That's right. But I mean, him, it's gonna like break his arm. And I mean, yeah, you that, know, if, that, if if you think the about the thinness of the shield, right? Uh, which is I don't know. Let's let's say let's say oh I don't know like uh, maybe maybe a quarter of an inch or something like that at most maybe. Something like uh, something around there, you yeah. know. I mean, that's that's gonna hurt the palm of your hand when you catch it. I mean, you know, think about it, right? A vibranium shield that's probably like maybe quarter inch thickness or something like that. When you catch it and that hits the palm of your hand, traveling at some sort of uh, you know, pretty some excessive force, a and lot speed, of velocity, it would crush yeah, your hand. a lot of velocity, exactly. It'll probably cut his fingers off. <laughs> so, so yeah yeah the oh. training montage scene in in the tv show was just ridiculous like every time he was throwing the shield and it came back to him i would wince because i could just imagine a real human trying to catch that and it's just like how many yeah. times he broke his wrist but it just he just goes oh ah, a little bit of pain okay do it again it's like <laughs> no <laughs> every time you say works. steve rogers i think trailer park boys heretics among us <laughs> oh yeah yeah steve yeah rogers. yeah yeah the announcer Oh man! I'm Steve Rogers. Another trailer park election. Yeah, <laughs> gonna be Sam Losco. Oh man! But the other thing is, like you know, it's it's not about it's not about him. Okay, it's not about Anthony Mackey whatsoever. But he just doesn't, you know, like how how Captain America is like you know buff, right? Because he's 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 you know superhuman basically, right? You know, he he's got the build. But here, I'm sorry, like as good as Anthony Mack is as an actor, he just doesn't have the build. It just looks, you know, the, the slump kind of shoulders kind of there. It doesn't say heroic to me. Yeah, but like maybe that's just Falcon. Me. When he was just yeah, the like Falcon, Falcon, I like this character. Yeah. Like yeah. Falcon was, was kind of perfect for him. Like he had his little flight suit and his little backstory with his co-pilot and all this stuff. And then. Now yeah. he's just like shoehorned into being Captain America, even though they had perfect replacement already set up. Exactly. Oh man. But um, yeah, uh, I'm more of a grounded espionage action movie. Oh, God, no, not espionage. Okay, so it made more sense for it to be a more grounded espionage action movie as opposed to aliens and airplanes coming through portals and crap. Uh, Mackie said about the film, even though I've been in so many of them and have seen it all now, the opportunity for Sam to really establish himself as a true action star and Avengers comes with this movie. Well, you already were kind of an action star already as Falcon. So what? That didn't count? And let's be honest. I'm sorry. Falcon was never a main character to be with. He's a background character. He always has been. You, yeah. you can't run a, a main star on him. No, uh, the character oh. is not a main character. Yeah. He was perfect oh, he was... in Winter Soldier as like a little sidekick part. Exactly. Like, That's right. Just a sidekick and it's like that yeah. works. Yeah. He's sidekick material basically. Mm. That's that's all he is, right? I mean, in Civil War, 
Falcon and Winter Soldier lost to Spider Man in his like first ever fight with yeah. other yes. like super powered people. Like they got their ass beat. Yeah. Like the, the two of you I, aren't even as good as Spider Man. Like no. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> right. Close. And you he lost was, to like, a entry kid. Level. Yeah, entry yeah. level Spider Man. Like super day one. <laughs> oh man, that does not exactly instill confidence. Yeah, it's like yeah, you'll be a leader, all right. You're gonna lead the Avengers. Mm. <laughs> Are you really? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's not happening. I'm sorry. It just is not. Oh, God. Uh, let's see. Ben Swarmack. Yeah, the shield had no problem cutting through metal like the hull of, uh, of the oh, yeah. shield jets. Exactly. That's right. Think about it when he catches it like a normal human being. Okay, you know, that's sure he's gone through training, you know, and, uh, you know, I'm sure he does a few reps, you know, bodybuilding and stuff like that. But still, he's still an ordinary human. And, yeah. Okay, and then even think about this. In, in Multiverse of Madness, Scarlet yeah. Witch, with enough force, was able to, to hurl the shield through Captain Carter, who is enhanced, and, and yes. chopped her in half with the shield, too. Exactly. And she's enhanced. Yep. So even and, somebody as strong as Steve couldn't even handle, you know, with enough force, the shield being thrown with enough velocity or whatever. Like, Yeah, I know, right? Uh, yeah, Marvel still tries. Madam Web, anyone? <laughs> oh, <laughs> Sony. Pepsi movie. Oh, God, I know. Yeah. Door Mamu thinks, I'll wait for Captain America and Door. <laughs> <laughs> that, yeah. That'll oh, come wow. out after he dies, you yeah. know. <laughs> Be a pointless or like Akmodo, just be a pointless oh, plot of a geez. character we already know their fate. Love that. Yeah. Oh, that's brutal doorbell move. I love that. That's awesome. So geez. But, but Mackie continued. This <laughs> this this movie is a clear reset. Oh, oh, here we go. The magic words now are coming out. It's a clear reset. It really, it really reestablishes the idea of what this universe is and what this universe is going to be. Oh boy, the watchword oh, people. Exactly. I think <laughs> these movies. I think with these movies, you're getting a clear new branding of what Marvel is heading towards. The same way they did with Captain America: Winter Soldier. Look down the toilet. Mm. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. You're dropping a, your name it. dropping a, a really good movie to try and act like it's gonna be like that, huh? Yeah. Okay. Exactly. In other words, they're making it up as I go along as they have no clue at this point. No, exactly. Because yeah, he, they he, don't even know what they're doing. He yeah. used the word clear twice in that paragraph. That bothersome. Yeah. It's like but, uh, it's gonna be so clear. Yeah. Watch clear how clear reason. it is. Oh my god. Well, okay. He's either talking about what's going to be happening with Deadpool 3 or or the fact that he said that it reestablishes the idea of what this universe is and what this universe is going to be basically is like what? You're going to like reboot what it means to be an Avenger? Or... It makes me hate this new universe before it's even started. So. Yeah, I know. Or is it just going to be like, you know, how everything was pretty pretty much on solid ground with, uh, you know, phase one, two, and three, you know, till we got to end game, you know, that was like solid, right? But it just says right here, it says to me, right, reestablishing what this universe is and what it's going to be. It's like, you still have no idea. Mm -hmm. <laughs> end game was the end. And after that, they ran out of steam. Exactly. Yeah. But I mean, yeah, so you're going to like redo everything in your own image. That's what yeah. worries me. Right after yeah. Endgame, that's where the clear reset should have happened. Yeah. Right after Endgame, just, okay, start a new cycle, multi-year uh, story arc leading to this big inevitable final showdown like they did yep. with Thanos, you know, build, build, build. Nope. Yep. Kang's here. Hello, Kang's here again. Yeah. Look and you're not that. even using Kang. <laughs> no. Yeah. Variations of Kang. Oh, Victor Timely. Yeah, yeah. Miss Minutes. She's the real villain. <laughs> she wanted a body of her own. She was, you know, she wanted to be human. 
That's right. Even though, she she, even a, though she's like a super powerful sentient AI program, she'd rather yeah. just have a human body. With the she power was young. Of she was in at love. Straws. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, so here we get another picture uh, of the upcoming uh, schlub of a movie. Mm. Uh, okay, so so we got uh, President Ross. I'm guessing now. Mm. Um, oh God, it's just it's just something about something about just the way Anthony Mackie looks like like trying to be Captain America but is not Captain America. I just, and I'm a fan of his acting. He's a good actor, but yeah, not a bad actor. Oh, but, but the only thing I'm looking forward to, maybe, hopefully, Red Hulk. Yeah, I want to see some Red yeah. Hulk action. I love yeah. the character yeah, Red yeah. Hulk. He looks so cool. And but it's see, like, the, are we going to see him fight the real, the regular Hulk? Because that's what yeah. I really want to see. Oh yeah, yeah. 100%. Well, that and you know, going back to <laughs> that quote that you said, "Happy on," you know, like get off of my damn plane, right? Yeah, I just want to, yeah, I just want to <laughs> see him. I just, yeah. yeah, I want to <laughs> see him in the in the White House. Turn to the Red Hulk to whoever the super villain's going to be or something like that, and just say the same thing, like, get out of my damn White House, right? Just get out of my Oval out Office. The window or something like that. Yeah, yeah. get out of oh, my yeah. Oval Office. Yeah, he says it, then he turns into the Red Hulk and punches him. That would be, yeah. uh, I would I would clap for that scene. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I would, I, would, I totally <laughs> would, I totally would. Uh, and, uh, oh, we got a new viewer here. Uh, Daniel Berry Sports Highlights. Happy Friday. Up, well, happy Daniel? Friday to you. Um, Friday. Yeah, haven't seen you before, but now that you're part of the chat, welcome to the insanity that is Frantic Fridays. So, um, yeah, if you can, hey, hit the like button, hit subscribe. So, we have pie. I can't serve it because, you know, it would make the monitor messy. And, Wait, you have yeah. pie? Damn it, I'm a pie! Sorry about that. Well, you you're know, better you're than what we're here right now. Away. Exactly. Was... <laughs> so, <laughs> Tina, the naughty dragon. Uh, I want to see Harrison Ford yell, "Hey you, hey you kids, get off my lawn!" <laughs> yeah, Harrison turns, Ford needs to make a Gran Torino movie where he's, you know, grumpy old <laughs> man, yeah, using finger, okay finger guns, that. using epic finger guns to defeat the enemy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> that should right. be grumpy old men two, three, or. Or whatever they're up. Now I want to see that. Yeah, I yeah, yeah. I love oh my god! Movies. Yeah, because how, how many grubby old men movie did we get? We got two of them. <laughs> two did we get three? two of them? Oh, we like should get. It. We we need a grumpy yeah. old men movie with Patrick Stewart and Ian McKellen. Yes, <laughs> and then just have them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and and Harrison, Harrison Ford. Ford. Yeah, yes. I gotta have Harrison. Yes, because because yeah. you're gonna have like one Star Wars guy, one Star Trek guy. Right, one guy from Lord of the Rings. Okay, so that'll be you know Ian McKellen. Uh, you know, yeah, Patrick Stewart and uh, and Harrison Ford. And then we need we need another old guy from another franchise. Mel and, Gibson uh, as the villain. <gasps> Mel Gibson. Yeah, there we go. Now we're talking. Or or no, or Arnold Schwarzenegger from like Terminator. Oh, there you go. Why don't yeah, I wish Betty go. White was still alive. Betty White could be the female. She'd be oldest. Oh, in the Betty movie. White. She was oh, so great. Man. Oh yeah, and then have grump, uh, grumpy old man three, yeah, or four, whatever it is. Uh, oh, okay, yeah, I think three. Okay, either way, yeah, get these old men together, make another funny movie. If <laughs> funny wasn't outlawed, so um, yeah, no, I'm sorry, I just, I just don't feel, I don't feel Captain America vibes with Anthony Mackie. No. I just don't. Yeah. I just really don't. I agree. So, yeah, it's just yeah, you know. And as much as I love Harrison Ford, um. I'm sorry. It's just it's just Indy Five just kind of soils, and how they did him dirty in Star Wars in the last three or yeah in the in the in the Star Wars movies. It's just I I don't know. Yeah, I either feel much. sad for him or I feel like what the hell did you do with Indy Five? Why did you allow this to happen? Kind of thing. And he's still a legend. Here's the board the legend, but he's like he sold out and just I'm done. I just want him to make money. Yeah, it's like he's running out of steam and he just doesn't care anymore. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Dormammu, I wonder if uh, AMC will offer a Metamucil popcorn bu bucket. Ha, ha, ha. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there's a backlash on those uh, Dune buckets. They they're regretting that big time. Oh yeah, they are, aren't they? Though, <laughs> so, with a side order of a large chilled laxative. Um, so uh, explains the title of Brave New World. Oh, okay, so 
So Mackie also addresses the title, which was first New World Order and then changed to Brave New World, which essentially means the same thing. <laughs> it kind of does. The title implies that there is a new, bigger enemy now. Oh, is there? Okay, bigger than Kang? All right. So there's a new frontier that we have to conquer, Mackie said. From Captain America, the first Avenger to Endgame, the enemy was always good versus bad. Oh, yeah, it what was because, that? yeah, was it really? Because Thanos, you know, you know he kind of, mm, it was yeah. random and fair. Yeah. Perfectly yeah, balanced exactly. as all things yeah. should be. As all things should be. That's right. Now that we've conquered that, you, what? You haven't conquered anything. There's always going to be good versus bad. That's what's called storytelling. You got to yes. have antagonist and what? No. He's like, where do we go from here? Right. So now that we've conquered good versus evil, where do we go from here? When the bad guy reappears, in what form are they reappearing? Oh, this sounds rather kind of, uh, kind of ominous. Uh, is it a new storyline with new characters, with new beliefs? It creates a new idea of this new world that we're going into. Well, I'm wondering, what kind of world could that possibly be? Oh, I wonder see, that, what... Yeah, I don't think they even know. That would be interesting no, if, they do. They have, if they want to bring Thanos back. They have him in like hell or whatever, and he meets right. death. And then he starts to fall in love with death like everybody wanted. And then death yeah. gives him like another chance at life where he gets to go, you know, try to conquer the galaxy or whatever. So that's how they try to bring Thanos back. But I don't really want to see Thanos again. I want them to do Doctor Doom or someone different. Something yeah, something new. Yeah. And not you Kang. Know, finish up the Kang thing, for God's sake. You yeah, know, just have them fight the Council of Kangs in like one little swoop. Get rid of all of them. Yeah. You know, explain the uh, you know the celestial that's still poking out of the earth. Oh, they'll never explain that. They'll never do uh, that. They'll, they'll, they'll never, never do just, that. Just a big nope. alien Take body in the ocean. Yeah, evil has been defeated. Let's go after white men. Yeah, exactly. Well, I mean, it worked for uh, you know the magical society of uh, magical African American people. So <laughs> there, I can say it that way. Oh, you can say it wow. anyway. Okay, fine. Negroes. Exactly. There we go. Yeah, there we go. You, you, they, um, they didn't make you say it. That's just the title of the movie. They want to be stupid and make the title of the movie that. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah. Got to deal uh, with it. <laughs> yeah. Dormammu, yeah, watch this somehow turn into a DEI uh, screed. I just want to enjoy the damn movie and have a good plot. Is that asking too much? Yeah. No, it's not. That's, yeah, it's not. But, you know, you're never going to run out of good versus bad, you know? No. And to say, like, where do we go from here? You're still fighting bad guys. There's there's enough bad guys in the Marvel Universe that you can just, you know, pull one out of your hat. And, you know, I don't know. Maybe there's a new Red Skull or something like that. Maybe mm. there's, uh, you know, I don't know. Bring back Flag Smasher or something like that. You know, bring, bring back, God, anybody. There's a whole whack of them that you can pick from. You know, so, it's, it's not like you know? there's not 70 or 80 years of comic book lore yeah, and villains and storylines and plots. Yeah, exactly. You know, there's, oh god. The, oh, but but you got to remember, you know, none of them read the comics. None of them go after the source material. Oh yeah, they're not allowed know. to. Yeah. That's that's right. Yeah, if they if they want to do that, they'll just you know they'll just make it up as they go, and it's like. I don't know, go through a Rolodex of characters. Oh, we haven't picked that one yet. We'll choose that one. So, well, great. They cast, a, they cast the Silver Surfer, right? So, yeah. maybe we will get another Galactus, like another trip. They're going to do the uh, MCU version of Galactus. Can you imagine if they gender swap Galactus too? They they did that in uh, the Marvel Rivals uh, game that's coming out. It's a female yeah. Galactus in that. Yeah, Galactica. And, and they'll cast Lizzo. <laughs> Oh my god, we can't have nice more things. planets. I yes. am hungry still. Those planets are not enough. <laughs> Need whole solar system. <laughs> Feed me. Yeah, like uh Gal Aub Aubrey Galactus. too from Planet uh, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Feed me, yeah. Seymour. <laughs> Feed me, Seymour. Feed me, Norman. 
I need a planet to fill my tummy. So, <laughs> yes, oh, my oh, God. Oh, God. Yeah, oh, that's what God. I want to see. But, uh, yeah, so so we get another um, generic picture <laughs> with with uh, Captain Soy Boy uh, and, um, and uh, geriatric Indy. So, you know. Yeah, let's look at the screen. Let's look at this scene. Maybe it'll make sense of what we're actually doing here. Boy, I don't know what you're talking about, but get the hell out of my chair. <laughs> Are they pointing at the blank monitor? That has They're pointing at it? the blank monitor, yeah. Okay, just making sure. <laughs> oh, my God. It's like, no. They couldn't no, even fake is- this photo right. Yeah, I know, right. Like, like, look how much fun they're having together, pointing oh, at yeah. the blank image on the monitor. The camaraderie is just amazing between these two. So that or that or Harrison Ford can't actually see well anymore, <gasps> and Anthony Mackie's trying to explain what's on a blank screen to him. Yeah, yeah. So there's yeah. a white border around a screen, um... and it's black. <laughs> So <laughs> the oh. is just back in June. That's what the, yeah, that's what Harrison Ford said. <laughs> We're lip reading the scene. Hey, <laughs> Caption this. Could, that nighttime scene that you're in is really awesome. So, really? Uh, yeah. No, oh yeah, it is. Oh my god. Is, <laughs> yeah. Uh Lizzo is at least already comes with her own gravitational fields. Exactly. Yeah. She draws them all in. She draws planets in, and Galactus just feeds. That's what it is. Yeah. Yeah. So, oh, that's right. Exactly. I forgot to remember. You mean I can't me? No, I guess I can't. So, neither can you? Neither can anybody. <laughs> Digital blackface. Remember? <laughs> oh my god. Uh, so, um, so Marvel and Feige. <sighs> God, I, I know. Good old Kevin Feige. Yeah, exactly. What a, what a way to start off a sentence. Marvel I, and Feige. <laughs> Gasp. My brain. Breaks. Also showed off first footage, which shows Harrison Ford as Thunderbolt Ross wanting to restart the Avengers, but he disagrees with uh, Mackie's Sam Wilson. See below. Okay. And this is the tweet. Anthony Mackie's Captain America meets Harrison Ford's president. Ford thanks Mackie for the good, uh, for the good he, for the good he's done, and because yeah, because you guys do better, <laughs> Senator. And he says, and says he wants Captain America to help him rebuild the Avengers. If we disagree, then what happens? Uh, oh, oh, sorry, that was supposed to be uh, Anthony Mackie's name. If we disagree, then what happens? Later, the president honors Captain America at an event. It's interrupted by a song. Uh, Isaiah Bradley breaks in and starts shooting politicians. Captain America fights them off and escapes. And then we uh-huh. find out that Ford, uh, the okay. villain, because he 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 orchestrated this whole fake attack to make the Avengers be needed, so then he could make the yeah. not in it. That's right. Yes. Justify your existence. Exactly. You gotta do better, Mr. President. Yeah. <laughs> Exactly. I thought I did. That's how I got elected. <laughs> what? <laughs> you got to you got to do better than that, Mr. President. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'll become God World President Ford. You know, I don't know what <laughs> was not President Ford enough? No, apparently it wasn't. So <laughs> apparently it was not. So uh, store to poopers, yeah. One of the best uh meetings of Feige in German is uh Volva. You heard it here first. Yeah, oh <laughs> that explains everything about this film. Oh, go. There you go. I wasn't going anyway, but now I just don't want to even watch it. It's just so, it sounds so bad. That's right. Yeah. I'm a theater channel on Frantic Friday. Not only do you get entertainment, you get an education as well. Because Feige in German is Volva. So there you go. Uh, this message brought to you by Store to Poopus, the polar bear of wisdom on this channel. So there we go. Thank, thank you, Store to Poopus. Um, yeah, so, and it comes out on Valentine's Day next year. Hooray. Does anybody really want to see this? So, nope. Probably not. Nice. care. 
yeah does anybody care no probably not so um yeah anthony mackie captain america <laughs> jeez ah <sighs> this is this is what i live for hooray but uh but other than that what else has been going on um you know what because it is friday and um and i kind of briefly touched on uh you know arnold schwarzenegger making a uh grumpy old men four maybe uh mm. they should probably include him in it you know for terminator and stuff like that uh which which actually was an awesome franchise until the last couple of movies uh so there's a little bit of good news out there that i want to share uh so you know we got some uh extra time um dynamite comics is putting out something kind of interesting they're going to be celebrating 40 years of the terminator with a special collection release that they're going to be putting out now uh 40 years i know it's 40 years of terminator like you know it's like and tuesday wasn't it like 30 for transfer or whatever man i'm feeling old for this week 40 yeah it's like you know 50 50 for uh <sighs> space battleship yamato, yeah, yamato and then 40 years for transformers and now god it's like way to go guys i'm My glad you released this yeah, man, I'm old. But <laughs> i know but now i'm like feeling like extra old like 40 years terminator so I don't know if this is going to be because I haven't read the article, but I thought this was like really something uh, really cool to share, um, you know, to to at least enjoy, you know, something of a franchise that hasn't been. I don't know. Entirely. Dark yeah. Dark, know, dark, dark Fate thing. was um, a big disaster. And the I first, was. Was Ray, but yeah, yeah. The first 10 yeah. minutes where they they literally undo Terminator 2. Like, yeah. They, they literally undo that movie. I know, it's yeah, kind of un unforgivable. <laughs> yeah, whenever I yeah. see Terminator, I think of Dark old. Fate immediately. Now, I, I never actually exactly. watched that. I've seen just enough of that <gasps> scene. It's like I'll never see uh, that. Yeah, they just they well, just murdered John Connor, and then they exactly. they get a a new messiah. Yeah, like oh, John wasn't that important after all. It's like what? He was like yeah, literally exactly. the cornerstone of the entire thing. Yeah, yeah I know, right? uh yeah we should be playing yeah you were old for married with children yeah <laughs> i know oh well, there's God. always the sarah connor chronicles those weren't that wasn't bad yeah. no that wasn't too bad that was okay i didn't mind that it's just it's just a shame that they canceled that mm. on a you cliffhanger know. yeah i know oh i hate it when they do that i hate God. i hate when that happens it should be illegal yeah it should <laughs> finish it out god but, uh, yeah, but it looks like um, history will repeat itself. Dynamite announces a new limited edition, limited time project to offer classic Terminator comics to fans in deluxe collections across multiple formats, covering a full decade of classic stories. Um, and these books can be secured now on backer kits. So I don't know what backer kit is, but I'm kind of interested now. So James Cameron's iconic Terminator series uh, released in 1984. My God, it's such a long time ago. Jeez. And kicked off a whole new area uh, era of action blockbuster films with Arnold Schwarzenegger at the helm, packing classic one-liners in abundance. I should be reading this as Arnold Schwarzenegger. In the brilliant science fiction mythos. It was a hit with moviegoers all over. But many wanted even more from this intriguing world with film sequences and other media following. Terminator was one of the biggest licensed comic franchises of the 1990s. And Dynamite <laughs> is excited to bring all these tales back into print in a stellar way. So, um, mm -hmm. so <laughs> I couldn't help myself. I had to. So, so you get, uh, yeah, uh, I'm guessing. Yeah, multiple volumes of this. Wow. I will always really love how the T-800 looks. It is such a freaking cool robot, man, the yeah. design. Oh, I know, right? And there just the way the, the movie starts with the slow pan in and the music and we go into the red eye. and oh, Yeah. So I always said, when I da -da -da. make money and make it, I want to get, you can get a life-size model from Sideshow Collectibles. It's $5,000, but you can get the mod, you can get that model. So it's just, it's oh. beautiful. It's, it's life-size. 
It's like Imagine six foot something. you come home and you forget you have it, and it's like in the you turn on like a room in the dark, and it's like it's home. <laughs> it's home to the house. Yeah, exactly. Right. Get into a big battle with your five thousand dollar Terminator. Oh my god! <laughs> Spoiler: Skynet was replaced by Bing AI. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I even forget what they called it in Dark Faith. It's like Legion or something. I don't oh, remember. Right. Yeah, it's, God. Yeah. Uh, my first sci-fi was when Papa Dragon showed me Term- Terminator 1. Really? Uh, Ooh. Nice. That's a good one to start off with. Jeez. Exactly. Uh, Dad yeah, Bad that Walking like said... A... Um... Go ahead. Oh, I was about to say, that was like James Cameron at his peak before he got on the boat. Oh, dude, yeah. yeah. And uh, Batman Walker water. says, "Yeah, have they said if Terminator will be released in theaters this year? Oh, mm. I don't know. I've That'd be an it. awesome way to celebrate it. Because I've never seen the first one. I've seen all the other ones in theaters. I've never seen the first one because I was a little yeah. younger at the time, and it was an adult film. So it was yeah. awesome. That's one of my favorites because he plays a villain. And there is a video game coming out this year too. A new Terminator video game being released as well. That's what Ooh, it's been. nice." Yeah. Uh, Dermot said, Yeah, if uh, Terminator was redone today, it would film TikToks as terminated. You, it's you know, what would be a really good Terminator game yeah. is make a Terminator game in the style of Among Us, where one Whoa. person has, is really secretly like the Terminator and they've infiltrated like what resistance base, and then everybody yeah. else is you know, they're got to do objectives, but somebody's secretly the Terminator, like trying to isolate people and kill them, you know, and someone's the That'd Terminator. When it when he gets there's, revealed, they play the music and stuff. That would be actually oh, cool. that'd be cool, man. There's this one place. Um, a couple of years ago, I visited this friend of mine in uh, in Burnaby, in uh, you know, which is kind of like a suburb of uh, of Vancouver, and th- he took me to this. Um, it's not really a toy shop, but it's like you know, like this big. It's a huge warehouse, just full of collectible stuff, right? Like of every known conceivable franchise like you know either here in north america or japan or europe like they got everything and and he said oh you're you're gonna love this place right and on the side of the shop they have uh like like up on the walls they have like uh like like gi joe characters like everywhere they got like the uss flag and then you know you you go down a little bit and it's got like a whole bunch of transformers like in this big giant awesome diorama and then you go further over like in around the corner and they got like they got literally like life-size predator alien they got the t-800 terminator there like life-size the eyes are glowing and everything like that and they are for sale too right and it oh, costs such like a predator. <gasps> oh, and it costs such a pretty penny. Like we're talking like a few, you know, quite a few thousand dollars. Yeah. But um, but I think I got pictures of it. I, I'm thinking I still have the pictures of it. And oh my god, and it looks so glorious. I want it so bad. But oh, but yeah, well, I mean, this I, is here. This I is am iconic. spending money on uh, silly stuff like food. Utilities, oh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Car gas. I want life size predator and terminator. Damn it, exactly. Uh, Shame on you, pop. Get I your priorities straight. <laughs> I'm doing adulting. What can I say? In my front oh. lawn, a big life size <laughs> dragon, big as the house. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> if I won the lottery, <laughs> yeah, be, in the backyard is a full scale Millennium Falcon. Oh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> And it works. No. And it works. We'd live in it actually. Oh, be in a lovely little house. <laughs> dude, I would totally oh, live in a Millennium Falcon. Like, oh gosh, oh, God, I know dude, it. So would I. I know. So uh, they go on to say, we couldn't be prouder of this partnership done in collaboration with our agent, Creative Licensing. The amazing storyline and wonderful artworks by Dynamite are are the perfect way to kickstart this franchise upcoming anniversary, says Valerie Rolandes Barrios, uh, Studio Canal's Senior VP IP Licensing and Partnerships. The Terminator 40th Anniversary Comics Celebration features three volumes collecting hard-to-find comics from the franchise. A historic first, the contents are being sequenced in chronological order f- uh, this time for a truly unique presentation and reading experience that franchise fans will appreciate. This chronology mm. was assisted by prominent and active members of the fan base. 
So, yeah. Maybe they'll leave Dark Fate out of it. Right? That'd be yeah, nice. Exactly. They should. Oh, that's what I'm hoping. Yeah, they should. Each book is available as a paperback or hardcover. And for diehard Skynet resistance fighters, at an ultra deluxe edition of this set is available in a stunning faux metal texture and appearance on hardcovers. And signed options will also be available. Ooh. That just screams fanboy right there like a, a a faux metal texture hardcover book terminator hardcover book like dang yeah i still have my copy of a uh, terminator 2 on dvd with they had like a special metal case where it's like yeah. a 3d graphic almost where the terminator is like popping out at you and it's like in the oh, special metal it's super cool yeah nice it is so good oh and uh and wendy Thank you very much, Wendy, who's gifted five Comic Relief Crusader memberships to, <clears throat> to people out there. Thank you very much, Wendy. And this one is As for you. As a show you. of gratitude for your service in the past, uh, here's a sandwich. But Thanks for coming, everybody! No, Good no, night! No! Wait! What? You got your sandwich? My tallest an opportunity to prove I truly can be an invader is all that I ask. Gimme. Gimme. Wendy, thank you very much. I really, really appreciate you doing that. My God, you were awesome, Wendy. And uh, let's see who, who got a membership here. I'm just uh, going to take a look here. Um, you if, and you got a membership. Other people got membership. You got a membership. Exactly. Yay. You and you and you and you and you and those people are if it would actually show here uh it shows that dormammu you got a membership gifted by wendy and franco walker got a membership and dj plays nice uh dj play nice got a membership and pat wannabe got a membership and rod thunderheart got a membership so thank you very much wendy and uh, and all of you yeah Thank you, you Wendy, for doing that for you. So really, really appreciate that. Awesome. Yeah, I'm glad that you guys cool. got membership. I'm, yeah. Uh, Dormammu says, yeah, if you had a Millennium Falcon in the backyard, you would have your wife ask what that junk is in the backyard. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> that would happen. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's like, but she, but, tell you go sleep on the couch. Screw that. I'm sleeping on the, I'm in the, in the Millennium Falcon. I'm not sleeping exactly. on that. All right. Yeah, exactly. There's no the way I'd be ever going back in the house. neighborhood. Exactly. <laughs> so, I can get to the grocery store in 0. 0.5 light years. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> but you know what? Looking looking at this cover, I think this is from like one of the Dark Horse uh, comics. So if yeah, Dynamite yeah. is putting this all it out, look I'm like it. It does. Because I'm pretty sure I saw that issue like way, way back when. And if that's the case, then they're pulling some of the stories from the Dark Horse issues as well, which is great. Yeah. It kind of reminds me of the factory showdown at the end of the first movie, too, when mm. Linda yeah, Hamilton yeah. finally sees, like, you know, the robot, like, with it exposed, you know, the skin's gone, and we see the uh, actual true form of the T-800. Yeah. And, uh -huh. yeah. And that's kind of why I like the Dark Horse issues because, I mean, you know, you look at the C-800 and he looks even beefier yeah. than, you know, just a skeleton. Yeah, like his chassis yeah. looks huge. More menacing. Yeah, more chest menacing. and everything, yeah. Yeah, more yeah. menacing. Yeah. Oh, man. Love that art. Mm. Um, so the first and second volumes in this set are loaded with comics from top creators and major moments in the tr Terminator legacy i was almost gonna say transformer legacy but <laughs> in the terminator legacy uh across well over 700 pages these books cover nearly the entire decade of the 90s which includes every terminator story originally published oh. by dark horse comics in that era ah, there you go right Ooh. so volume one kicks off a special one shot written and drawn by two all-time legends with James Robinson that did Starman and um, uh, the JSA and Matt Warner War uh, Wagner from uh, Grendel and Batman. Ah, there you go, Pops. Uh -huh. Exactly what you showed on yeah. Tuesday. So, yeah. yeah. 
Now, a Terminator is sent back in time to kill Sarah Connor following her wedding, but is prevented by a fighter sent back by her own son, John. And it's followed by the 1990 series, originally just called Terminator, but later by its story subtitled Tempest, which is an early quest to prevent the creation of the Terminators, chronicled by a powerhouse classic team of the 80s and 90s Dark Horse in John um our qd from the mask oh and uh b p r d and chris warner from uh predator barbed wire actually chris warner is pretty good i I did like his barbed wire that was actually really really good and his predator was pretty cool too so um and robinson returns for the miniseries secondary objectives alongside beloved artist paul uh Grulesi from masters of kung fu uh, a perfect fit for the machines of the franchise then ian eglinton and vince uh gerano continue the ongoing nar- narrative in the enemy within plus gorgeous cover by sam and beasley Ooh who did or who also used to do uh lobo on top of that as well so oh, okay yeah that's not too bad of a cover so i can get behind yep. that yeah it's not bad yeah not bad so the second volume in this set features a several additional story arcs jane robinson is back for endgame joined by butch goosey uh, as the last Terminator comes to the present, Batman and Judge Dread legend Alan Grant comes in for another special and the 1998 miniseries known as Death Valley alongside Guy Davis, uh, Stephen Pugh, and the memorable cover from Death Darrow. Last decade, uh, Last Terminator tale fits here with The Dark Years by Grant and Mill Ruby, uh, sporting covers by Jay Lee. Oh, that would be interesting to see a cover by Jay Lee, man, because he makes it spiky and sharp. Uh, then Hunters and Killers sports an all star cast of contributors, including Adam Warren. That'll be different considering his manga style. Uh, Chris Warner, Torn Smith, and Bill Jaska. But uh, last but certainly not least is a rare suicide run story from Dark Horse Presents 138 by Grant and the unique stylings of Frank Terran. Ter- uh, the last book in the set compiles one of the most historic and heralded Terminator stories ever, the five issue The Burning Earth, which was originally published in 1990 by Now Comics. Now, that I actually do remember from way back when, and this is before Dark Horse got the license mm-hmm. because it was a, a small Terminator series um, by Now Comics yeah. way, way back when. And this is like uh, late 89, uh, early 1990 when that came out. Uh, Ron Forche uh, writes the saga of John Connor's war in the future, the key lore behind the Terminators, but a huge highlight here is the first ever published artwork by superstar Alex Ross from Kingdom Come Marvel's Fantastic Four Full Circle creator. Stunning, beautiful, painted interior artwork starts here. And fans can experience the early stages of his already impressive style and a major breakout in the art of painted comic books. Wow. Wow. That would wow, love indeed. See. Yeah. Because if I remember correctly, those covers <laughs> by Alex Ross when he was uh with Now Comics, um damn, they were they were pretty good even back then. Mm-hmm. Yeah, if you look them up. Uh fans can get a complete set together in their preferred format for a great combo deal and make sure their copies are in the first batch after the backer kit campaign closes dynamite will have even more exciting updates and peaks inside the books on the projects page and social media comic press and beyond so hmm. there you go you know the you one thing some... i didn't see that i'm wondering yeah. if they're going to have is the robocop versus terminator cross oh yeah with walt mm-hmm. simonson oh shit Yep. Yeah, that was a good crossover. Yeah, that was. 
Yeah. It was a great epic rap battle of history as well. Yeah, it is. <laughs> a few years ago. <laughs> yeah. Um, but, wasn't there a video game with, the, with, with, with a crossover as well? Uh, yeah. I feel like there was an old video game in the 90s that was like I th- both. I, th- it I like think so. It. Yeah. Now that you're mentioning it, yeah, I think I think I think that That's was the cool thing. Crossover. I know there was an arcade like game. There was definitely an arcade yeah. game. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because yeah. Yeah. it was, it was Frank Miller game. and Walt Simonson. Ooh. Yeah, Robocop versus Terminator. Yep, that was a pretty big deal. Oh, that was a really big deal. I like that because it's such a like an even matchup kind of thing. Like some things, it's like kind of a little bit uneven, but that just seems like it'd be a a great great brawl. Yeah. Oh, it was because yeah, for the Genesis uh, Mega Robocop. Drive. I do remember it. Yeah, for the Genesis mm-hmm. Mega yeah. Drive, it was available. Yeah, because Robocop gets an upgrade. Oh, he gets a series upgrade, so it was pretty yeah. cool. Yeah, and then there was uh, Terminator versus Transformers, and <laughs> that seems like unevenly matched, but that's a pretty good read. On top of that, <laughs> well, what? Well, couldn't Skynet like hack into the uh, t- Transformers and like? Take over? No, well, they're not. They're they're sentient beings. They're not really technology based. I guess they could exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Tina. There there was a RoboCop versus Terminator comic out there. Yeah, uh, it, you can probably find the back issues pretty easy. Or there's probably a, I, I imagine there's a collected graphic novel of it. Yeah. Uh, what about RoboCop for- versus a T1000 though? Ooh, that'd be interesting. So. I think the T one thousand wins that one. He just turned his hands into swords again and just yeah, chopped exactly. Robocop yeah. in half. I don't know, Bob. Was there was there was there four issues? Was it a four issue thing? And there was like uh, going by one, memory, one it was either four or six. It had something to do with Alex Murphy, Robocop. He, yeah. uh, okay, it's been a while since I read it. Going yeah, by I memory, I want to say he uploaded his um, <laughs> consciousness to the computer the mainframe and yeah. he was he was kind of hiding out digitally as yeah. the uh, skynet waged its war killing everybody and then he just hijacked one of the factories making the terminator robots and he made his own body that looked like his old self and he just downloaded yeah. his, his Damn, so he like became like ultron yeah Basically, Here, yeah, pretty much. I'm reading it. That was a Frank Miller comic. Yeah, yep. by Frank Miller. It's like wow, Frank Miller, I really and Walt Simonson. Yep. Love his oh yeah, it's really good. Yeah, there you go, Vince. Yeah, if you still have that comic, hold on to it. Yeah, because I still have really, it. Yeah, it's a really good read. Uh, uh, this one I didn't know about Superman versus Terminator. Wasn't bad. There was a Superman versus Terminator. Hmm. I don't huh. know about that. I remember Superman versus Aliens. Yeah, and then there was a robotic oh, yeah, Superman totally. like. Hank Hanshaw or whatever was the, mm. the yeah the weird like biotic Superman when like you had like the half robot face, and then there was Predator versus Alien versus Terminator. See nice. that was a cool yeah. show. Yeah. Then. And then there was uh, Batman versus Predator. Yeah, that was good. So I love mashups. So many good ones. But yeah, if you're a big Terminator fan, um, yeah, definitely pick it up. I mean, especially if it's going to be like, you know, a nice bounded collection, collection hard bound on top of that and mm. with a full metal cover and stuff like that. Like, mm, sounds good, you know. And I mean, considering 40 years now have gone by since the first uh, Terminator movie. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> Jeez. Way to go. Just make us feel older. I mean, think about it. I was like, um, I was like 12 when that came out. When the first movie came out, well, that's why Damn. I never seen it in theaters. I hope they re-release it because I was still too young. I was like, I couldn't get you it. Know, I was like, wow. And, That'd be and that cool. was a whole, people forget the first Terminator was a horror film more so, and the rest were more sci-fi. Where the first one yeah. was a horror sci-fi, the other ones were more action sci-fi. The first one, he's a villain, which I love. So, oh yeah, uh, Frank Walker killing machine. Yep, mm-hmm. yep. Do you think they got a bit carried away with all those crossovers? Well, that was the thing. Fun. Yeah, like in the nineties. Um, so like boost revenue, like DC and Marvel, they would do like a ton of crossovers because at the time, like everybody, everybody, you know, the, the big names left Marvel and started image and image was slaughtering everybody. Same with Valiant. Right. Yeah. And, and dark horse was still kind of, 
I don't want to say kind. It, they weren't really underground, but they were kind of like, like in the shadows, right? Like mm-hmm. they were there. You kind of knew that they were there, and you know they they had the Terminator franchise. They were doing something with it. They had Predator. Uh, they were doing something Star with Wars. that. And they, yeah, and then and then they brought in Star Wars, and that really made them notice. But to keep on bringing that revenue in, like Marvel and DC would do a whole bunch of crossovers, and they went nuts with it. And uh, that's why you had like a lot of, uh, say, aliens versus Superman, or or uh, you know, Batman versus Predator, and stuff like that, right? And then DC was really having fun with it, and they did uh, Robocop versus Terminator. And that was just explosive, right? Mm-hmm. So, you know, there was there was a lot of reasons why they were doing crossovers. And, uh, you know, they were just trying to maximize on the fun and trying to, you know, maximize on top of that with big names like DC and Marvel with very big DC, uh, with very big IPs, right? Like Predator and Alien and Terminator and stuff like that. So it was a fun time because you won't see that now unfortunately now that yeah. marvel is owned by disney um you know warner brothers is getting very protective you know with with their with their ips now you know owned by people big are afraid to take chances exactly well, like you i know? said brightburn and now it's gun that actually got it canceled i guess the second yeah. movie that we're gonna make one he's like yep nope it reminds me of ridley scott uh telling what's his name not to do his what was it alien film yeah yeah bloom conf i want to say yeah yeah an idea for a direct sequel to aliens Mm -hmm. i remember that And ridley scott told him uh hold off on that until i do mine or in fact just don't do it at all yeah uh what did trouble worry i was 14 when terminator came uh came out doesn't feel like it but uh that was a long time ago yeah Yeah. (laughs) it does you know um there we go vince Womack. yeah what's the what the f comic book frank miller's robocop stargate sg1 <laughs> fcpd edition i mean what why not yeah <laughs> okay why I mean, not? yeah just do it if so, the story's there just do it y'all dormammu kathleen kennedy thought the force was something you weren't supposed to feed after midnight or get wet <laughs> 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 I understood that reference. <laughs> so, uh, I got that reference. Old, yeah, yeah, like, reference. Yeah. Kathleen Kennedy asked why stormtroopers didn't rain. <laughs> Jeez. It's true. Oh my god. I still I still find that uh, plot hole annoying when uh Obi-Wan's like, no one's as accurate as Imperial Stormtroopers, and then they're just the most inaccurate, yeah. incompetent idiots. Like <laughs> I know, right? Oh when when God, do the like, when does the good accuracy come into play, Obi? Yeah, <laughs> like, they're terrible. <laughs> oh they even bonk their heads and shit. Oh, there you go. See, and we did something for Tina. Yeah, uh, just quickly looked at Robocop versus Terminator on Wikipedia. It's something I wanted to check into now. There you go. Ah, there you go. So, and and if anything, yeah, I I I swear, if you don't know about Walt Simonson, um. Check out Walt Simonson, especially check out his Thor run with early Marvel. It is amazing. It has not been matched since then. And uh, and I think you'll I think you'll like it. I think you'll like Robocop versus Terminator. So you know, check it out. And if you can get like a collected edition somewhere, I don't know, off of eBay or if a comic book shop has it, then uh, then yeah, pick it up. It's it's really good. So mm. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, good old leather face. Exactly. <laughs> so um yeah. So that being said, uh before we nick off for the weekend, uh we're gonna do our patented cartoon right before the Yay. show ends. So and you know, hey, as we're talking like you know, Batman crossovers and stuff like that, I thought this was kind of fitting. So so to everybody out there, enjoy the cartoon.
Who's making all that noise out there? <sighs> oh, uh, I, I, I shouldn't be in this one, right? I was never here. Batman. <laughs> I like how Robin's uh, punches were making like the old, like original yeah. Batman yeah, uh, yeah. music cues. And good old Stanley in the wrong universe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I shouldn't yeah. be here. <laughs> Oops, never mind. God. And the, the grappling hook doesn't work. And it, that's yeah, funny. I've always thought I love that how, when I see those grappling hooks, an... how does it always latch on to something? Yeah, I know. yeah exactly. Nice right? Realistic touch. He's not always oh. going to get the. Batarang or whatever. On the paper, everywhere he goes. Yeah. He's always been I, here. I love how they <laughs> used every trope, like Batman the Animated Series, you know, the yeah. Dark Knight yeah. Rises cover, you know. Michael like Keaton's Batman Batmobile movie. from the 1990 yeah. movie, which I love yeah. that. I had that toy as a kid. I'm like, oh, I know, I, I recognize that Batmobile. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, gee. It's, oh, my God. It was just awesome. And he, oh, he's gee. got the entire oh, rogues gallery and, like, and then he's got to go give Gordon some toilet paper. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Right at the end, Jason Fox shows up. Dude. <laughs> oh, Dude. fuck. Better than the bat unicycle. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, I, 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 just, I just saw it. You saw it. Yeah, I just saw it. And I've been working all day. And and I'm also on – no, actually, I'm on a break of stream, for streaming. But I decided oh, really? to pop in. Yeah, because I'm a little sick and stuff like that. But Oh, dude. Right, but it's – but I decided to pop in, but apparently it's the end. <laughs> yeah, well, at least you made it. At least I made it. Hi, guys. Hi, Hi. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> uh, but, um, yeah, that's that's all we got for this show. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, everybody. It was a beautiful show. Hello, yes. everyone. Was oh, so coming. Great to have you, Jason. <laughs> Riveting conversation. Conversation as always. Yeah, <laughs> amazing, man. I know exactly everything we talked about. You know, it, it was fantastic. It was fun. You know, uh, yeah. Oh yeah, <laughs> especially with Blue Sonia. You know, and yeah, um, you know, you, you can't you can't have a parody of that. And yeah, no, and no, no. Anthony Mackie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry, man. Uh, still so still sorry. Like a... I was late. No, no, it's all good. Don't worry about it, dude. Just fashionably late. With... There you go. Just yes, work you're, with... you're fashionably no. late. That's what it is. Yeah. No, I just been working with my buddy because you know, um, uh, I still recently I get got in contact with an old friend of mine, so we started to make some music together. Nice. Yeah. And we just finished a demo, <laughs> and it's nice. electronic metal. Oh. Oh yeah. <laughs> awesome. Uh, let's see. Dirt Mama says, "Yeah, they need to update that and have him get some Dunkin'. Yeah, Dunkin' Donuts. Exactly. I I agree. <laughs> For whatever it is, I agree. <laughs> uh, Tina, the Naughty Dragon, Tit and Tuesdays. I might be there. I bet you will be. <laughs> so, because we have Tit Lady Tuesdays on Tuesdays. So, and uh, 
Teeny oh, me. Goodbye, me. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, yes, and everybody have a safe weekend. That being said, Even first, um, if you guys can hit the like button and uh, and all that jazz and spread the show around, I'd greatly appreciate it. And that being said, Appion, uh, is there anything you want to plug? Uh, sure. Yeah, tomorrow, two guys talking. We're going to talk about the movie Push and just discuss like the universe that that movie sets up and everything. And then Sunday, watching The Water Boy with Carla Burton. So we're oh, nice. going through our Adam Sandler right. classics, like when he made good movies. And <laughs> then, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much it for this week. Kingdom so Hearts high, 2 played through also. And that's high it. quality H2O. High quality H2O. He got it from a, a Eskimo medicine man from Alaska. Yeah. It's <laughs> always cold. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, classic geek. You left a song. What do you got going on, dude? Damn it, three terabytes all gone. Anyway, sorry, I'm not. I'm, I'm doing <laughs> <laughs> backups. Back. I know. I learned. I just learned. Um, what is going on? Oh, well, me and Jessica, my eye. We just finished recording last night for the fourth episode. Just random talking of joking, silliness, and whatever. That's going to be debuting on Friday or Saturday night. Yeah, Saturday night. That's set to come out. Um, while working on another one. Whoa! I swear, the next geeky classic won't be. Uh, wrestling related it's just it was on mania weekend so i had the two first episodes very where were related to wrestlemania blah 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 blah. but the next one we'll try to expand so but that'll come out here in the next few weeks but uh yeah that's about it really, really? you know just i lost some awesome. movies so many movies <laughs> <laughs> Three terabytes worth. Damn right. God, be brave man you can get the back oh, that's yes, what torrents yes. are for it take years yeah. for years <laughs> <laughs> uh pop culture republic uh um, right. what do you got going uh, yes. on? uh this saturday ah. my saturday afternoon comic book talk where oh let me fire up my webcam here there we and go is, uh, oh. is up. I love do yeah. speaking talk. of walter simonson right oh my god we have Haver right. ha uh, havoc and wolverine meltdown series damn oh. so i'll be discussing that here and then a uh, graphic novel of the week that I'll also be sharing. Ooh. Blacklight, the art of Andrew Skelter. Skil However, how do you pronounce this here? Helter Skelter. Helter -Skelter. Yeah. Skelter. But yeah, this be, I do like a, I've started doing like a graphic novel of the week. Right. I'll round up my uh, cool, cool. comic book streams. Oh. So it'll be. Havoc Wolverine and then Blacklight. Wow. Who. Andrew I need, I, I need to figure out where you live, man, and just wait until you fall asleep, you know? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm in Texas. I'm jealous. We all have pew pews like there's blade of grass. <laughs> ah, <laughs> like yes. they're blades of grass. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's oh, a good response. That. That's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god that's awesome yeah. man texans it's like the law you have to own at least one yeah oh, exactly yeah. gotta catch them all <laughs> for close encounters you know yeah exactly uh jason what do you got uh what do you got to plug uh well uh next week hopefully i will feel better um oh, and yeah. i was you know i i was i was late today um but i have an excuse also i'm sick and also finished up our demo nice um but oh nice next, um next uh next week uh hopefully i will be better so we can do some streaming again uh you know, of course the beyond and, and five cast and stuff like that and still working with some other bands and stuff like that that i'm promoting and also i started you know a new show on the channel called the 540s 540 music tv where I share a lot of music from independent music artists and friends of mine and all this kind of stuff. Nice. Wow. And um, I just, if I may, can I just show a little bit of the song so I can just tease it what's going to come up on the channel? Yeah, sure. Do it, dude. Oh, definitely. Yes. Okay. So, um, so it's my friend who does the unclean vocals. He's the one who screams. I'm the one who does all the right. cleans because he's better at, than me to scream. Right. So we don't oh, okay. have an official name. So I'm just going to do it like this. So this is the start of the song. This is, you know, uh, electronic, a little bit hard bass metal. It's like a unique take on metal in our own way of it. Right. So hope, ho hopefully you guys have sound. So let's go and see what you guys think. Yeah. 
Yes. Protected by these walls, I built the what's inside of a ready kill. And nobody knows what I've been through. Nobody knows that it was you. But I won't let my heart be fooled again. I've learned my lesson, I won't pretend. I see through your facade. Ah. Hmm. Yep, so this is what we're working on. And it switches up here. Start switching up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> A little bit more electro electronic style. <laughs> Pieces of me lost in the night. A soul wounded, left behind. Concealing the truth, sealing my fate. But I won't let my heart be fooled again. I've learned my lesson, I will pretend. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, so yeah, that's wow, uh, <laughs> mm. <laughs> something we're that's really on. good. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm really proud of it, you know. Uh, and I'm going to make a video for it and stuff like that and release it on YouTube, of course. Nice. There we go. Sounds like people liking it. So, reminds me a bit of XRL7. Mike does. I don't know what that means, but I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> has, it has anybody else heard this yet? Like, like, online or anything have you have you shared it on your channel or anything uh my my music yeah like this i know th uh th this this song is uh fresh this is the first time i have ever shown it uh so, oh exclusive oh, so we did yeah. like an exclusive. okay well yep. then there you go people you heard it here first so so check i can out announce that we in his and his music and got yeah when this comes out now you know what you're going to be listening to and buy the album yeah. and um we are thinking about doing uh at least four or five songs album with this because the guy i'm working with used to be my old drummer in my old band called freeze frame so this 
album and the name of the song is going to be a little one-time reunion of our old band together. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. Uh, and Tina also says, cool, not really my style of music, but I admit I liked it. There you oh, go. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. yeah I, I, we want to try to do something new with metal, experimental a little bit with it. And that is, you know, we want some electronic stuff, a little bit different and not like the typical stuff that everyone does. Oh, hmm. uh, okay. Something new. No, so, that's what yeah. it's all about. Got to experiment yep. because you never know what you're going to come up with. So, <laughs> no, but again, uh, you can find more five for the studio, and you know, we talk pop culture and other, other stuff like that. And if you like music, there will be a lot of music there too soon. <laughs> nice, so thank you. Oh, okay, friends. Yeah, thanks a lot. I will, I will definitely check out the link. So awesome, dude. Thank you very much. <laughs> I will, I will do that. And I get the link right now. There we go. So, folks, exactly, gotta catch them all. That's right. So, folks, uh, that is it for the show. Thank you very much for joining in. I really, really, really appreciate you guys coming on in and uh, and enjoying your Friday afternoon here uh, with us, with all of us. And check out all of these people because, wow, you know, like Jason just demonstrated, we're all doing amazing stuff. So please check us all out. Please check out Appion and Tom and Pop Culture Republic and uh, and what happened to Tom. I haven't the this idea. Okay, whatever. He's gone. I didn't kick him off my spar. Um, so, you know, check out all of these guys and all the stuff that they're doing, you know, because there are a lot of creative people like all of us out here that are just doing stuff. And uh, you know what? That being said, thank you all for dropping on in. And Tom, you're back just in the nick of time as I was about to sign off. And um, yeah, and we'll see you on a titillating Tuesday. So to all of you out there, Leave you with this. Be excellent to each other. And party on, dudes! <laughs> <laughs>